The man that make skits on Instagram, do you consider them real com comedians? Is that comedy to you or is that just like maybe acting perhaps? Yo, you know? it's comedy. It's not stand-up comedy. Because stand-up is a beast in its own. I won't say anybody, but a lot of people can write, write a skit and then sit there and act it out on the camera with all these angles and these edits. But when you're on a stage with a mic, there's no edit. There's no, there's no live band behind you. There's no Photoshop with you. There's no filter. There's no TikTok. If you ain't funny, nigga, it's just you and the microphone with the people in there, and they're not going to say nothing. And we're back. It's your boy X, RIPMX on everything social. Castro Nero 88 on Instagram. Money Mitch 54 x Mitch on Instagram. And we are Uncommon Sense. So today's guest is a very prominent yet private figure in the Toronto comedy scene. He's ignited the Instagram comment section with his highly relatable memes, controversial opinions, and public admiration for local festivals, all of which have amassed him over 100,000 followers on Instagram. Big up yourself. Countless sold out shows around the GTA. Big up yourself. And the crown as Toronto's meme god. Big up yourself. Let's I'd go. I'd like to introduce none other than Mr. Lewin. I have juice in my hand. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, there big we up go. Yourself. Bop, bop. Big up yourself. Welcome. That was a nice intro. Yeah, it's man. not every day it happens like this. It's a vibe. <laughs> it's not every day I be on podcast. Yeah. So yeah, it's man. a vibe. I have to have the big introduction for the big guest. Fam. I don't even like big doing podcasts, but you got so my on. dogs. Before we even kick it off, why not? Because some people ask weird questions and they try to like get clips and, you know, just... Clickbait? Clickbait. Try to make people look stupid on a podcast. And I just don't like people as much as sometimes. I agree. That's fair. Figuratively speaking, go ahead. Yeah. Not everybody has a good program. I would agree. Yeah, if I don't know them or like have a good <clears throat> rapport with them, I don't want to sit down in a room and talk with you for two hours. Like, dude. Yeah, it'd be disingenuous. You can't even do no real reasoning with the people then. Yeah, I could do so much with that two hours. Like, even <laughs> if I just slept for two hours, I'd been way more productive and hang out with somebody. <laughs> Madam value their sleep. Madam value huh? their sleep. <laughs> sleep is crucial. Sleep is a very I agree. important part of my life. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to ask the man him after it because it bothered the shit out of me. We're talking he's been about waiting sleep. to ask this. I Yo, know, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know what he's going to ask, but he's been waiting to ask this. Boom. I'm not going to ask. Yo, how do the man feel about the daylight savings thing? Like, either when they push it back or they, 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 they bring it forward. It should give me more time. Time is not real. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> time is not real. Yeah, I, like, I didn't like answers. nobody's that answers crazy. just now. <laughs> I didn't like nobody's that, that went like this. <laughs> like, wow. like red pill and blue pill. Okay. Okay. Yo. I'm going to ask a question again. <laughs> I didn't get to finish what I was going to say. I was okay. going to say, they should give me more time to prepare. For them, fucking, I didn't even know they Nigga, were it happens that. every year. Nigga, I don't Twice care. a year. You knew I, since last year. Fam, I didn't do this year. I didn't. didn't. And I just feel like... You didn't know this year. I just swear to God, I didn't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It yo, did still. Yo, what did. could they do to prepare you more? I don't know. I don't even have an answer for that either. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what? So that's irresponsible. It is. I'm irresponsible. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just saying, when they crazy. did that, I just feel like my day just got shorter. Yo, it did. It fucked me right up. But yo, go ahead. I want to hear your opinion because you're on the other side of his irresponsibility. You said time is not real. Yeah, time is not real. So tell us why, Morpheus. I'm not Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who decided that we live on these 24 hours. Who decided that? All we do is save money or cost more money with this daylight savings. And Does it save money? Is there's a financial incentive to daylight savings? Yeah. It's I swear it's for crops. Okay. Well, like. I don't know. It's always about money. It's nigga, crops. No, there's real shit. all over this country. You worried about crops now, nigga? I just. I'm just saying. How do you feel about daylight savings? Um, bro, this shit. You don't care? Twice a year. I don't so you don't care when it happened? I'm not going to lie. So this this uh year that it happened a couple days ago, yo, it fucked me right up. I don't even know why. But like, And I seen it like, when when it was written out, it's like, yo, the clock going from 159 to 3 o'clock is aggressive. And it fucking is aggressive. And I had no idea I was robbed of complete sleep. So, yo, when I had to start the week over and like I'm looking at my phone and the time on my stove don't line up, it's fucking me right up. See I'm over there I'm just tired and unprepared. Bro, I don't oh, even I, think it's yeah, that I'm a, serious. Yo, it is, bro. I hopped you know in the car. Is? I actually don't even mind when they bring it back. When they bring it back, it's like, yo, I feel like that's the time it's supposed to be. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. I was fine with that. The concept, I'm at the age like, where you, you saved times. an hour, but like. If the, yeah, I don't know. It's it the way my life is. is set up and the way I feel about it. Fuck me right up. Didn't like it. I just want to know the matter of any. I'm not going to lie. Dap it. I agree. I got to dap it. Left, mm -hmm. left hand dap is crazy. Yeah, but you always got to left it. Like, do you take that hour personally? You connected, bro. No, not really. Like you feel like you feel I don't robbed like it in the winter. Hour? I don't like it in the winter when it's it's four o'clock and it's pitch black outside. Yeah, that's it. That's unacceptable. Too. It's time to go to work. Because daylight <laughs> savings plus yeah, people like go the to work actual... in the, when it's pitch black and they come back home from work in the pitch black. That's on the ride. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's depressing. That's depressing. But did you know there's actually studies on it? 
I didn't actually pull up the actual studies themselves, but I've read them or like breezed through them. But um, there is an this alarm. Nigga at the headline. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read them. I didn't bring it with me. No, no, no. I, I didn't, didn't bring them. I skipped through the motherfucker. I was like, all right, cool, yeah. But there's a there's a list of things that that like actually have a negative impact when the clocks get moved forward. Like I, I believe that fucking productivity goes down, the accidents go up, stress goes up. Like there's a bunch of even negative Depression health. Depression is real, probably. Yeah, right. yeah absolutely. We've seen all that with in just the, the time moving forward. It's fucked up. Look and how then, much happier everybody is just with that hour now. It's like like seven thirty is still light. But it's also too like even in the winter time you just but get less sunlight, accidents. and then they took the hour. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so just, it's just kicking you darkness, on your down. You know what I'm kicking saying? Kicking you on your down. Yeah, Bro, it's four o'clock and it's pitch black. Like pitch. Yeah, there's nothing positive. Picking them that. just got home from school. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> bedtime. <laughs> yo, it's crazy. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. It brought my mind somewhere else. But yo, let's all kick it off. Let's kick it off for a bit. Boom. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you end up in comedy? Like, when when did you decide that you wanted to be funny for a living? Pressure. Yeah, the nigga's like, when did I figure that out? When I knew I wasn't going to be a nice soccer player. When did that happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> what was that. the realizing moment? Like, no, did I'm you just, miss a I'm penalty or some shit? Break your leg or some no, shit? No, no, I never took penalties. I was a defender. But, uh... No, honestly, it was first year at university, and then all the men were like, yo, just give it a shot. Give it a shot. So, just Okay. Tried it. So are you always like the funny one in your circle type thing? Yeah, this nigga act like he don't know me. But yeah, yeah. But, but I, I know you, but I, like, like I can't have a convo just like I've been knowing you. Just oh, yeah, like, facts, you know what I'm it's saying? Like, okay, okay, nobody okay. else is going to know all yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. Okay. <clears throat> so, Nick, you don't remember that shit in class? <laughs> like, bro, no, no they no, don't. We never, went to, we never went to school together. Nah, we, we, were like, were you like the roasting nigga? So, fuck it. How do you guys know each other? Let the people them know, obviously. You guys we said play, it. We played soccer together for like a few a few years. So, it made you end the man's career. Like from from happened. like twelve to or twelve <laughs> to like 12? maybe like sixteen. Yeah, it was about eleven. Yeah, I left at sixteen. Okay, yeah, so like we, five, I got that about years. eleven. Yeah, about five right. five years. Yeah, yeah. Who was better? <laughs> <laughs> to be I don't honest, know we played different positions. Keep it real. So it's never like better or not, but I I was always on the field. Oh, sounds yeah. like he knows. Uh, he had more, competi- like he he had more competition in his in his position, so I'll say that. Though. Yeah, I was I was playing winger. Yeah. We had everybody uh, wanted to be an attacker. Or something. Yeah, every, I like, yeah, I was like, I'll so chop a like, man back here. I don't care. I'll, you know what? I'll cook a man. <laughs> Since this is why. Really <laughs> chop <on>. That's why. <laughs> nah, he kicked a lot of people in their legs, though. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yo, for the UK I'll audience, just reiterate what field. position you play, and then what position you played for the UK audience. For the UK audience, I was center back. He was center back, and you were. I was left or right winger. Okay, boom. Mm-hmm. Second question, moving forward. <clears throat> What's your team? And do you guys celebrate the same team, same religion? Oh, like like that, like a, the professional club or like the team we played on? Because we played Prime, on those Yeah, premiership I team. I mean like pro team. Oh, pro team. Yeah, yeah, Because I know the man them that follow <laughs> football, they take it to yeah, heart. Chelsea's my team. I don't want to hear this guy's made up team. Yo, let, <laughs> them, <laughs> yo, uh, let them know how you feel. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm an Arsenal fan still. Okay, yeah. so we have some contention Th- in place. Things are a lot more positive right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been 20 years. So. <laughs> yeah. hey, man. Enjoying it. Bear okay, shots I see someone so happy here. with second place. <laughs> Wild. Right now we're in first. For how long? <laughs> Wild. I don't know, man. Hey. Check the top 10. The longest teams to be at number one and not win the title. Arsenal has like eight or seven of those top 10, including guys are last in, season. like ninth place. Hmm? Chelsea's in like ninth place. And we're still doing better than y'all. Soccer Everything beef, you do, you compare to us. I'm talking about Miss Religion. Everything they do, they compare to us. Nah. Come on. You guys, you guys <laughs> literally won the <laughs> first Yo. knockout game in your Champions League yesterday. And then your little banner on social media where you're promoting that you had someone holding up the Champions League trophy, but it was the red flyer, the red color on it. But it wasn't y'all trophy because you never won. It was Liverpool's trophy, which was outrageous. And if it wasn't Liverpool's trophy, it was Bayern's. And Bayern been boxing you guys left, right, and center. So that's even more outrageous. Um, Holy! Mm. I don't even know soccer polys, but yeah, it sounds the polys sound crazy, right? Man, I'm in ninth place. You're not playing no Champions League <laughs> soccer anytime mm. soon, buddy. Like I know you guys had a good run, but it's it's looking bad and, right and now. And the bums that we sell off our team, who's first in line to pick them up? Oh my! The God. Man, scoring who, goals who's, for us. Who's so. first in line to pick them up? They weren't. They weren't Talk scoring for it. you, but they're scoring for the man them though. Talk, oh, they scored for us in the Champions League final. You know the one we won. Bro, how long ago was that? That was there money on that this? Wasn't that long. There has like to it. be money Sounds on like this. It. Nah, it's actually just pride. 
Oh, it's pride, eh? Mm-hmm. No, it's no, it it's can't no be pride because when you ain't won in 20 years, it's, oh, it's really yeah. rough to be proud. He came here cooking proud. still. He came here, he came here with his frying pan still. Yeah. You're just mad because currently things don't look the same, fam. <laughs> and they probably won't for a while, But you know what's while, crazy? Bro. Last year was their best season in 20 years. And we won the same amount of trophies as, as us. Okay. And we finished in, what, 10th last year? We was dog water last year. And y'all still had the same trophy parade that we did. Crazy. Mere disrespect is running in the air <laughs> stuff. Light, he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. Nah, but if they light. win something, he's never gonna stop talking about it. That's why I gotta be on it right now because I kick him while he's down. Because when he's standing up, it's, it's not a good. Right set. now, it's they're down years though. It's kind of hard for him to do the kicking from down there. It's oh, like right now, he's, he's not. He's not positioned to kick. Punching up to kick anything. Still, he's punching up. Like if we open like the trophy cabinet and we look at like all the hardware. It's, 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 his is looking like that table over there. Yo, yo, bro. And stop. You can't even the see man that do table. have trophies, bro. When was that Kid. last major trophy, though? Oh, four, yeah. right? Me. Do we even have adult teeth back then? Stop. <laughs> yo, what's wrong with niggas? What's wrong with niggas? Stop this, bro. <laughs> oh, I think a couple years ago. So, hold on. I'm going to bring it back from the All soccer right. beef for one quick sec. Mm-hmm. So, yo, when you guys knew each other, was he the funny one out the mandem? Like, was it always like, ah, oh, this, nigga, this nigga got the jokes? This guy? Yeah. You asking me, was he the funny? Yeah, I don't yeah, know, because you the, looked at him when you asked the question. I was, I was looking like, at both of you. I don't when know. You handed this. I, I'm not funny for a living, but... um, yeah, It's debatable. <laughs> you trying to say, bro? I was complimenting you. Yeah, 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 fuck, fam. All right, my bad. You're not you funny. You're not funny. You have to protect yourself from those. What kind of funny, bro? You have to get on like yeah, good yeah, fellas yeah. ones. What kind of funny, crazy. You know what, bro? I thought we were all side fam. Jokes, fam. Jokes. You're outside, too. But, um... Yeah, to be honest, yeah, the whole time when we were on the team, they, even like the parents and shit, this this guy was always talking shit. I mean, not everybody always found it funny sometimes, you know what I mean? Like when you're the subject of the joke, you might not find it as funny. Okay. Yeah. So, but like It's funny though. Yeah. Other people <laughs> you know what I'm laughing. saying? The the jokes are always yeah, available, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. I was cooking parents too. I didn't care. I was oh. cooking everybody. So, Respectfully, though. Respectfully, respectfully. Sometimes it was disrespectful. I about to say, it was, wasn't always respectful. Yeah, still. sometimes it was very disrespectful. That was a disclaimer, but it wasn't true. Yo, builds yeah, character. Builds character. It. Yeah, yeah, doing your character building for the uh, for everybody on your team. What I was going to ask you, though, was what came to fruition first? Like, were you on Instagram actively prior to trying stand-up comedy, or did it come in tangent with one another? No. Or uh, tangent, sorry, not tangent. Stand-up was first. So you died stand-up first. Okay. Yeah, I'm always, I always tell people I'm a stand-up comedian first, and I do the memes just for the sake of it. The memes took a life of its own. Okay, so yo, tell us, okay, before I go on to the memes, what I do want to know, how was your first show? My first show? Ever. How did that go? How was that experience? It was good. I had a, I was at York at the time, at York University, so I, I took a, the underground pub. I yes. had to rent it out for free because I was a student. <clears throat> and I literally just had a free show. I spent like two weeks going throughout the campus. It was longer than two weeks. Probably like three weeks going throughout the campus, giving out flyers, inviting everybody, telling Gal in the come, asking these cute looking girls, like, oh, you want to host? You want to host? Just to get more girls to come. I remember going in lectures and just handing out flyers throughout the lectures. And, and the professors, oh, yo, be quiet. And I'm ignoring the lecture because, like, big man, I paid for this class. So, like, who are you talking to like that? <laughs> you know? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Let them know. Yeah, and then, bro, it was a full house. Uh, nobody paid to be there. It was a free show, but it was a full house. And it was, I remember, di- I did like an hour. Oh, you did an hour straight? Yeah, but it was like 10 minutes of actual jokes, if that. And the rest of it was just, I'm here talking. I don't remember most of it. Okay. It was t- how was your, how was the um the audience reception to you? <clears throat> and was it whole pot? You had nobody else on the show with just you straight talking no, for an hour? No, no, I had a, that's, that's wild. I had a, was a one rapper. I had a rapper, a poet. I don't think I had another comic. Yeah, it was a rapper and a poet. And it was like a co-headline thing. Me and this poet, and we call it like from the streets to the stage. And he was the poet and I was the, the comedian. And it was good. It was cool. Word. Yeah, it was really good actually at the time. Word, word, word. Okay, cool. So um, what what do you think like makes good stand-up? Good writing. Confidence. Confidence and good writing, charisma. Uh, charisma too. Yeah, you could. You could, some people do the deadpan style where they Fair. they talk monotone and it works <clears> for them. <throat> I can't do, it, but it works for them. So you can't. It's not always charisma. Got you. So do you think you have to be like born naturally funny, or like could you learn this? Like you know what I mean? Like, like if you're naturally funny, it's probably a lot easier. Like I don't think if you learn comedy, you're gonna be funny. That was your opinion. Yeah, right? like if, if you're. 
if you don't have it, you don't have it. You can be taught how to write a joke, mm-hmm. but you can't be taught how to deliver a joke. That's and how right. to, you know. So some people are better writers than they are comics. Okay. You know, like some of the best comedians in the world are writers, like Paul Mooney. Oh yeah. His comedy is it's it's not for everybody. It's amazing. I think it's amazing, but his writing's even better. So he writes a joke that say Eddie Murphy will go and, and deliver it, and you, and you'll love it. But if he said the same thing, it would be like, mm, true, a little dry. True. No, that's Come valid. That's valid. Even touching on that, because you went, you know, you went deep. You went in Paul Moody already. <clears throat> Top three favorite comics. Top three favorite comics. Shoot. Okay, even if it's not your favorite, what about? I'll include inspirations. No, if they're not my favorite, they're not an inspiration. All right, go ahead and keep it ideal. Uh, keep it online. Go ahead. I would say number one, just because. Of his influence, Eddie Murphy. Okay. Delirious. Yeah, Delirious. And that was the one where the man was in like the leather suit. The red, the red leather. Yeah, yeah, the red leather. That's a crazy That's a classic. Time. That's, that's a, a classic. That's a wild one. To be able to walk outside and get away with that. That's he a crazy He was the biggest time. star in the world at the time. That man was a rock star performing uh-huh. comedy for people that to didn't To my speak knowledge, English. it's an old Montclair. Uh-huh. It was a Montclair fit? No, he's saying like the oh. impact is like he showed up on stage in a Montclair. <laughs> in a oh. red, with a red one. <laughs> I don't even know if it counts as a Montclair because, yo, were man just beating that regularly on the road yeah, in the I'm, 80s? No, they were not. Was it being a man with their chest no, out in a leather were a one? Guy, no, it had to be a guy. His, his was extra tight, bro, but just yo, know it, it can't be extra over. extra tight for the, for the sake of the show. It can't though. be over 20 degrees. Yeah, because you're sticking. Like yeah, you get high. He had to cut and that's coming from a man in a shiesty in damn near springtime. <laughs> so you got a know. box cutter to take that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. The man attacked your shiesty. Yo, yo, as I was that talking, was I added that up everything that just said. That was a straight shot. It, it loaded a little bit slowly. You know what I mean? I'm like, holy fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're warm right now, still. You're warm. Okay. So pot toasty. Eddie Murphy. Dave Chappelle. Okay. Patrice O'Neill. I respect all three of those. Yeah, I respect yeah, yeah. it. I respect it. That was good. That, that, those are good top three. Okay, moving along. Um, how did the the meme popularity come about? Because like I'm not like like majority of the viewers. I'm gonna assume like you know they're gonna, they're gonna tap in. They follow you for your memes, right? They're, yeah. they're very they're very up on it. And it's like I'm sure like within the your whole page, you're expressing yourself, your opinions, your your controversial issues, or whatever. Fuck like people, you know, are are receiving from that. Mm-hmm. How did the popularity like grow from that? Was and was there like a viral moment? Was there like one meme in particular you dropped and it's like boom, this fucking caught wildfire, or was it just a steady, slow kind of grind? No, you know what I mean? It was always a steady, steady grind. Like when I first started, I had like five hundred followers, I think eight hundred maybe. Okay. No, I had eight hundred, but it was just like family, friends, and like random. You know, the small. Just like a personal. Yeah, 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 yeah it a was super of people personal. Down. It was locked. It was private. And then uh, my sister in law, she, she was like, "Yo, why don't you just make the page public?" So I was like. Okay, whatever. Cause I used to just make the, the stuff for like people in my circle and like. So what were you making the memes yourself, or were you just finding them? In the beginning, it, it's it's then, always the same. It's curation and creation. So it's, it's like a bit it's of both. a good mix. Okay. So like, if there's something popping happening, like like po- the political debate, I'm sitting there on it, making everything as we go. Cause like all the content's coming in fresh. I'm like, oh, this is new. This is new. Boom, boom. I'm making it. But if it's like just like throughout the week, randomly, like a bunch of people will send me stuff or I'll see stuff online, I just put it up there. And then I remember I, I unprivated the page, made it public at like 800 followers, and then it just it just took off. It was everybody was sharing it, sharing it, sharing it. As sharing soon it. as you un as soon as you unprivated it, it started taking off like wildfire. Yeah, but okay. slow, slowly, still slowly, but like it was over well over a thousand, then it was 1500 and stuff. It kept going, but I remember when I started, it was like I was posting like 30 memes a day. I remember I was working and. 30 memes a day. You're killing yeah, now. You're more. going. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on. So at what point did you start to like? Put out that because that's a big output, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So when you just had like the little private page for your family or whatever, like you were probably only putting out like were you putting out thirty? No, I was posts? cooking it. I was cooking. Oh, it. you're same going way. off since yeah, then. Yeah, same way because I'm like this is I'm doing it like I'm entertaining myself and people and if you people like it, cool. That's cool too. Okay. And then so that's probably another reason like your shit started to catch on fast because as soon as you opened up your page, you're already working like a nigga that's fucking yeah. I was doing it like it's it was a business and uh, part of me should have. I wish I had known a little bit more about the business side of it because I didn't know meme pages could be sold for $85 million. Shout out to Quan, you know? so That's crazy. $85 million? $85 million in 2021, right when the pandemic hit. Crazy. Or just after the pandemic. That's crazy. Crazy. I, I, I followed the Quan too, that page. Yeah, East African kid from uh, Alberta. Shit, yeah, big up yourself, my youth. 
Let them know there's you know jobs you didn't even know exist are fucking out there. Eighty five hey, million you're up. Yeah, <laughs> you're up. Damn. Okay, so then now okay, knowing the information that you know and, and the escape of things now, I guess how do you go about selecting your content now for what you put out for what you produce? Is because I don't to my knowledge, you're not putting out thirty memes a day no more. No, no, I'm very selective now. Okay, exactly. So when did that transition happen from you know, you're just spamming the market to okay, now I'm gonna refine it a little bit? Mm, probably about the, the time when the page got established. So it's just like I didn't need to to put as much out, you know? Okay. Okay. It just, was there like a follower count at that point? Like like fifty K, forty K, twenty K? No, no, it wasn't like a specific no, Okay, okay. I just you know. I remember during the pandemic it, it's I was at like fifty and then it just flew. The pandemic was like one of the best things that happened for me and the comedy career, especially online, because like I had an audience twenty four seven. Yeah, exactly. People are just yeah, tuned in, just locked in, in looking at you for entertainment. Everybody named Mama was online looking at that. Word. You know, so that was really fun. That was that was when the page was really starting <clears throat> to blow up. Sick. That's fucked up how shit works because the pandemic sank a whole bunch of people, but then certain depending Some, on what yeah, you're doing, pocket mm-hmm. you were your shit went like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it kind of like staggered a little bit once the new people came in and they're like, oh, this guy's so opinionated. It's like, yeah, nigga, I don't like everything. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I don't like everything. You know what I mean? So that. some people are like, they leave, they come back, they leave, they come back. A lot of people, they unfollow, but they still follow the page. That happens a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, be, you upset people, but they still want to see what's going on. Oh, they watch, those people watch more than people that follow me. I believe that's it. That's just funny. They love they're, waiting, they're waiting like, to come back. There's in the waiting shadows. in the right moment. Yeah, they're waiting in the right moment. this guy, like, with the side <laughs> eye. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Guy. <laughs> they, hate, they hate to love me. But what is he doing, though? Bro, they hate to love me. Or some people hate the truth. Because sometimes, yeah. because sometimes when niggas be saying shit, it's like, bro, you're just mad because it's the truth. So they rather hate the messenger than hate the message, you know? Exactly. What I'm yes, yes, they focus on the wrong thing. I'm like, but I'm not the one to try to poison you. Don't be mad at me, nigga. So with that, <laughs> with you and all your opinions and not liking everything, there's obviously a lot of controversy and shit that comes mm-hmm. with that. So you know, just from what I see in the comments, um. There's a lot of there's people that like love you, love your shit, and then there's some people are like, yo, I hate this guy, you know. Um, there's people that really hate you. Would you say <laughs> big up the haters? Which yeah. one do you get more? <laughs> do you do you feel like you get more love? Or do you feel like you get more hate? Well, every show is sold out, so I don't I don't feel like the hate. I don't feel the you hate. Just feel the love. Oh, the love is amazing. And sometimes when I be feeling like, oh, they're not rocking with me, I'll be walking in the street and somebody come up to me like, yo, man, like thank you, bro, like thank you, like you you say what I I can't say. Yo, cool. That's cool. That's love. Yeah. Don't know. So how many? Yeah, that's, that. That was gonna be my next question too. Like, yeah. is the reception you get online? Mm-hmm. Is it consistent with what you see out in the road? Like, do do people? Because you do get a lot of love online. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, do uh, how often do people recognize you when you're out and about? Yo, it happens more often than I think, and sometimes it be confusing me because I'm like, yo, I don't even put my face online. Like, how do you even really notice me, bro? Yeah. Like, I got a hoodie on, like glasses and stuff. Like, how do you know that's me? But I never question them. I just. Do you do that on purpose? Like, like not showing yourself? Yeah, because at the beginning, it was just like, yo, appreciate the content. Don't worry about who's who's putting it out. It's not about me right now. Like, love the content. If you want to see me, come to a show. Fair. You see my so, jokes. what about, okay, have you ever received any reception or backlash of people kind of criticizing, like, this guy's not a, a comedian, he's a meme page, or he's a meme or shit. Like, has anybody ever, like, um, critiqued your uh, legitimacy as a comedian based on the content you produce? Yeah, other comedians, people I don't know, people I've never met me a day in their life, right. always got something to say. But if you're trying to hear them, it don't matter. I don't, I don't pay them no mind. With the okay. with the stand up that you do, like, have you ever said a bad joke that didn't like that the crowd or whatever wasn't feeling or like something you think you shouldn't have said? No, I don't think there's a bad joke. That might be different. Or I guess maybe, like, have you ever bombed? I guess that would be, like, the question. Yeah. That's a better question. Yeah. Yeah, that happened one time when I when I first started. Like, I, I first started. This was, like... Tell us about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they say, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us about the failure, fam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this is good. I'm glad I got this out of the way from time, because now I don't care what a nigga say in the crowd. But I just remember I was, I was maybe, like, 18 or... I don't think I was 19 yet. I was 18. And my cousin at the time got me to host like some basketball event. Like a, not a basketball event. Like a, a, like a It was like a, a fundraiser for a youth basketball league or something like that. Mm. So it was at like a, a lounge. And I'm in there. And I still remember the joke I said. I'll never forget the joke. I went up there. And I'm, I'm in like a suit almost. Like formal. I have, just don't have the blazer on. 
I got the, the vest with the tie, dress shirt, dress pants, dress shoes. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> and I got up there and just everything, I just knew this wasn't going to work. And I said a joke and I said... Uh, you remember the joke? Yeah, 100%. It was, uh, it was a time Gucci Man got the ice cream cone tied on his face. Oh, Lee. Crazy time. So I was like, yo, man, this world's <laughs> getting crazy, man. Gucci Man tattooed the ice cream cone on his face. What's he going to do with that, man? Like... Get somebody to lick it off him or like, see, wow. I didn't even get that. I didn't even get that. <laughs> Niggas looked at you dry no, as I'm fuck. laughing because I can picture like, in <laughs> like your was. audience wasn't ready for that. Dog, that was nobody there attacking wa- Gucci. They're like, I sat there. I'm just like, and yo, work. just yeah, yeah. And I remember yeah. I just left. I oh, didn't even, good. I didn't even finish it. I literally just went outside. My cousin tried to come talk to me. Some dude I didn't even know tried to come talk to me. I was just like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody but you. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm not going back inside. I remember I just left. I got on the, on the bus. I went home, bro. Oh, Lee, the bus ride home is crazy. Yeah, I cut. Okay. Uh, I wanted to double back, though, in terms of the uh, the critiquing your legitimacy of a as a comedian. Mm-hmm. So do you consider the people them that... Okay, pause. How do you feel about the Instagram sketch comedy community and, and, and the wave of comedianism that social media has brought about? Are you a fan? Uh, is, that, is that a good word? Fuck it. I'm like, it do you, okay, the man's that make skits on Instagram. Yeah. Do you consider them real com- comedians? Is that comedy to you? Or is that just like maybe acting perhaps? Yo, you know? it's comedy. It's not stand-up comedy. Because stand-up is a beast in its own. And a lot of people, I won't say anybody, but a lot of people can write write a skit and then sit there and act it out on the camera with all these angles and these edits. But when you're on a stage with a mic, there's no edit. There's no, there's no live band behind you. There's no Photoshop with you. There's no filter. There's no TikTok. If you ain't funny, nigga, it's just you and the microphone with the people in there, and they're not gonna say nothing. So it's a way. It's two different crafts. But yeah, I, I do consider some of them comedians. They're entertainers, to be honest. They're entertainers. I wouldn't. Comedic, so, do comedic so actors. Do by your standards, does someone have to perform stand up to be a comedian? Because you just called them entertainers, which is like that, like that's you differentiate between. There's a difference. There's a difference. Yeah. You know, a comedian. You said they're entertainers. So if for they them do to, the skits, like those skits and stuff like that. Yeah, but they don't do stand up. Like they just do the skits. Like, can, do do you respect that as a comedian, or are you saying nah? You're you're an entertainer. You're an entertainer. You're you're like you're, a, I w- like you, it's, you're a comedian, but you're not a stand up comedian. Okay, because you yeah, like, have a comedian like, can't talk to me about stand up. Like even like Will Ferrell. Right? Yeah. Like he's an actor. Everyone knows he's funny. Mm-hmm. But he's not really known for stand up. He's just known no, I didn't for think his he's movies. He's never even done stand up, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, would you consider him like a comedian? Yeah, or he's a comedian. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's a comedian. So, what? He, so, how do you. He's the funniest nigga in the room, in any room. Okay. So, yeah. that's how you separate it? Like, yo, you're just naturally funny. Yeah, so like, you're, you're really funny. And you, like, people people know you as the comedy guy and they laugh when they even think about you. Like, when I think of Will Ferrell. I'm laughing already. I'm thinking like semi pro. I'm thinking of step, but I'm crying yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the stupid movies. Yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. His <laughs> shit is hilarious. Movies, that, guy's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that guy's amazing. But then you look at somebody like Adam Sandler, who was also a comedic actor, but he's a stand up comedian too. Like he started a stand up. You respect that more? I always got more respect for the stand up comedians. Yo, you know what? I, I re- you have to. Yeah. Like I tried stand up one. I, I just, I said, I've done stand up one time and I realized like yo it's not even even when you're writing jokes and shit like that like you what you think might hit may not fucking hit like the funniest aspects of me were like the 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 moments in between like you know what I mean like me speculating on real time events or whatever the fuck's going on mm-hmm. like sometimes you be saying some shit like oh boom like I said you think it's going to hit and when it's a dry room I'm like well damn nigga that wasn't funny and then boom the room yeah. will fucking erupt <clears throat> You get know what I'm saying like it's a it's a crowd it's will weird. let you know how funny you are real quick right quick real Espe- but it's quick. it's like I said, it was weird because I was getting good reception, but I wasn't necessarily like not necessarily on the material that I was writing about, just like my social commentary in between. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "All right, fuck, nigga, I'm situationally funny." You know what I mean? You good at improv? You get what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good that, talent to have. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, that's why I kind of even like transitioned from like, "All right, boom, I want to be a comedian or do something." I, like I felt like the best way to showcase like my personality or whatever I have to offer would be like in the podcast setting through conversation and you know interaction shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's the way. That's that was just my. Experience. Experience I do, in I that do like that. Podcasting is dope too because you get to bounce off of people. Yeah, you create you hilarious. create a moment. You're creating a situation, yeah. and then boom, everything's organic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trying to trying to create a joke is like it requires a different set of skills. It's a different skill set. Like not even just a joke. Sorry, but like a set of jokes. You know, even if it was like, yo, go perform for five minutes. 
Mm-hmm. Like, bro, you have five to is fit a, five, is five a long minutes. Time. Like, See how long five minutes five just got? Yeah, long time. People don't understand. Just you go up there with just a microphone and start talking for five minutes. It's a long time. That start first sweating. thirty seconds gonna be hard. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Until you get that first laugh, it's a rough ride. You hear that? <coughs> oh <laughs> man! Oh, yeah, just hearing <laughs> silence in the room. That should probably even like make your delivery <laughs> shaky and all types of shit. You know? Hey, I have a question. So, like, would you ever consider? Transitioning into like acting, yeah, I would love that. If the right opportunities come, I would love to be a comedic actor, but I want stand up first. Like stand up, you want to be respected first in the in the art of stand up before. Yeah, stand up is for, is for me, but I would love to do the stand up trifecta, the comedian trifecta, where so you have a hit special, hit stand up special, hit comedic movie, and a hit sitcom. I would love that. Would you I, ever like write something like Friday? Like, yeah, like, absolutely. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, just even like touch, bouncing off of what you said, how do you feel about Kevin Hart in that realm of things? Like, yeah, what's your what's your opinion on Kevin? Too. Yeah, it came to your mind because you can't not address it. Like people say, like there's that there, there's that controversy where people are like, oh, Kevin Hart's a sellout. He's not funny, very rare. But then you have a like, you see how big of an uh, of a of a brand he's become. Kevin mm-hmm. Kevin Hart's like the McDonald's of comedy. That's basically. what it became, right? Like, that's but, yo, how he's regarded publicly. Yeah. I remember personally, like his early stand up bits. Like, yo, fam, that man had me in pieces a he few was times. Hilarious. The man is he funny. Was, the man was, is funny. He was hilarious, bro. His old stand up was hilarious because you could hear the struggle in his voice. Like, right. You could hear the pain in his voice when he's telling these jokes. These are real jokes. And the older and more successful he got, it's like, bro, I don't want to hear about your ex wife anymore. I don't want to hear about how your four kids is bigger than you. Like, I feel like he's, ent- he's an entertainer now. Would it he's be not, th- he's lost that stand up comedian for me? Like he, I went to his last show and it was like, it's entertaining. Like I'm having a good time, but I'm not learning nothing from you. I'm not taking nothing from you. I didn't remember one of your jokes. Fair. Do you do you judge somebody if somebody else writes their jokes for them? As a stand up comedian? Yeah. Yeah, because I I think I heard like his his ex wife used to help him write the jokes. I think a lot of people have like teams of actual people that help them formulate certain material. I know, but if when you don't do have that like structure behind you, like yeah. how do you consider Yeah, you gotta write your own. You gotta write your own. It's like, go, like, like it's like music. if you ghost write, yeah. are you a real lyricist? Yeah, you know like what I'm saying? Rapping, yeah. You know what? It's fucked up because like from even Basing it on some of the shit he said, it's like you're a performer. Like, say if you're not necessarily writing everything yourself, but you get on stage, you perform and have a great fucking reception, mm-hmm. then you can't take away the performative aspect of what you've done. Yeah, he's a great performer, but in terms of like pure stand up, nah, you gotta write your own, man. Yeah, that's probably the same as like rap music. Cause it's like at the end of the day, when when you find out this guy made a hit song and it's all out of his own creativity. Like, yeah, you can't give some other performer the same respect. You know what I mean? It's like, it is a little different. Like how wild was it when you found out that Yachty wrote City Girls track? Yo, that's crazy. That's wild, right? Absolutely. But yo, I've also found out though, app, like subsequently after the fact, he writes for a lot of people, like women too. Like he, he wrote, writes he for a lot, a lot of, of the artists. women are, are, are get their lyrics from men. Which song did Yachty write? The City, biggest Girl. City Girl track. The the Birkin bag. Yeah, that's Yachty wrote that whole song. Big Birkin so, bag whole. Five, you know what's fucked up? So maybe it's just <laughs> me. Like I don't know, cause they're like female rappers. Like to me, like it didn't even like affect my opinion, like of of them. Like oh yeah, he yeah. wrote a song. Okay, whatever. No, but it's not. If you find out like a next man, concept. like like I don't know. I feel like it hits different. Like am I the only one that feels that way? Were, were you like drastically disappointed to like, find out the like city Jay- girls didn't write their own song? Like Jay Z wrote. No, you don't. You don't. Know, you know, I guess it was like, more surprised you know, that you know, Yachty. I don't wrote. know. This it sh- wasn't really surprising. <laughs> if you're asking me, it's not sh- like if they said, "Yo, Lil Wayne never wrote none of his shit." Then you'd be like, "What, nigga? What?" No, I wasn't yeah, that surprised. But like, yo, it, it was kind of funny because like the wave that city girls had. You get what I'm saying? Like they had a whole fucking <laughs> city girl population wave with them, and I was like, "Oh, your whole thing's not even, like your thing's frauded." Like. Yachty's your take. You know what I mean? Yachty has, 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 has the polish. moving like a baddie. Yeah. Bro, this, these are the yeah. same things that have beer fake everything else. So yeah, nothing's real. The whole program is just artificial. You know what? Last thing I want to ask you in this segment of things. Top three favorite non-black comedians. Non-black comedians. Pressure. Make pressure. Not think about it. No, Under not, pressure. No, not pressure at all. I'm sorry if I go in. Uh, they could be Indian, white, Asian, anything you like. I know what non-black means, nigga. Just let you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to fuck up his brain to stop stand processing. Up, stand-up comedian or? Yeah, stand-up. Stand-up, stand-up. Louis C.K.'s fire. Louis C.K. Big yeah, up yourself. Regardless of the freaky business. Freaky boy. He's fire. <laughs> Norm MacDonald. Uh, R.I.P. 
I'm sad I didn't say Norm first. Norm would, pro- Norm would go first. All right, all right, all right. Freaky boy got downgraded. Yeah, <laughs> Louis C.K. second. George Carlin, a legend, but he's... I like what he did, but I... Be I, honest, bro. If it's not you, it's not yeah, you. Yeah, it's not me. Uh, I'm trying to think. Anybody Anybody new school, up and coming? More relevant? Oh, I'm trying to think of anybody current. <laughs> the nigga with the strong jaw or some shit? Who? Schultz? What the hell has a strong jaw? What a strong jaw? Oh, I don't know. That's a that. crazy the description. Last note, uh, yeah, that was a lot. Like, that, that, that was that, so that, that, specific. That, that, Who are you talking well, about? I like Schultz. Don't get me wrong. I fuck with Schultz. <laughs> I like Schultz. Schultz cool. I really fuck with Schultz. Big up. I went to his last show. It was a Shane good show. Gillis. Boom. But there the strong John nigga I was talking about was Shane, Matt Shane Reif. Gillis. This is a nigga I was nah, talking about. Nah, nah, I'm not talking about Matt Reif. I don't Shane know Gillis. Matt Reif you seen him? He's got a strong right, jaw. I'm gonna look out for a strong jaw. Yeah, apparently. he's the one that the strong jaw. You, he has the Netflix. <laughs> See, I'm so not agree with it. Christian, from <laughs> agree with it. No, no, but now that he said the name, I'm like, yeah, he is the one of the his crazy jaw. Is strong. Jaw. Yeah, his jaw is strong. I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, guy, this, this guy crazy. <laughs> yeah, I say Shane Gillis. Shane is a, he's new and up and coming though, ish. So. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Shane Gillis is amazing. Big up the non-black comedians. There's room for you too. Anyhow, <laughs> we're moving on to the section of a palate cleanse right now. Right, you guys ready for quick fire? You guys Let's ready go. For quick fire? So I'm going to ask you guys a sequence of questions. I want you guys to answer the questions the most honest and authentic you possibly can without giving it too much thought beforehand. Usually I have a, the... I have a one, two, so I'm yeah, yeah. slap on We'll it, throw man. it in the mix. We'll throw yeah. it in the mix. Mm. You guys ready for this? And, yo, the order of operations is going to go, our special guest, followed by Mitch, followed by Cuz. If it gets rowdy, we'll make adjustments. But, yo, hear what? That's the order I'm saying right now. It's me. First up on my questions. And by the way, like, I'm not going to hold you. The questions are, like, they're tailored. Like, there are, there are some well-thought-out questions because of our guest. Our guest is an outspoken, profound individual. And as such, I thought I brought you some questions that match, you know? I know. I will say I, I respect you guys had, like, a whole outline ready to go, like, in terms of questions. Dude just hit me, like, like almost a week ago. talking about, yo, I'm going to get it to you. I'm going to get it to you. Which is fine. I didn't know what to expect. I thought we were just going to come and have a chat. But you niggas well-prepared, so respect to that. <laughs> we shout about y'all business. I like that. We got to do homework. Come yeah, on, bro. Like come on. Come on, come on, come on. Like we, we, we get flamed for not doing homework around here. So, like yo. <laughs> X yo, handle. that's funny. I tend to hand out a bad order, too. This guy mm-hmm. thinks he's Professor X over yeah. here, bro. Him? Yeah, what? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Man, to turn in their homework. Bro. I'm sorry with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Quick fire. Mm-hmm. Round one. Would you rather marry a blind woman with a nice big set of titties or a deaf girl with a fat ass? Deaf girl with a fat ass. Yeah, Yo, deaf niggas girl with is a fat crazy. ass. That was like <laughs> All right, no was, an- question one. It's round one. Don't do that was easy. That was easy. More like chest. Yeah. She got oh, yo, yo, some type like, of yo, ass though. Huh? Like, she got some type of ass. Yeah, she's a bum. Yo, the, the big titty blind girl has a nice bum on her, but it's not a fat ass. You know what I'm saying? But you know when you're hitting the deaf girl, like, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah she's talk, right. she talks like a deaf girl. I want you guys yeah, to know this. Mod things. Yeah, I want y'all, y'all, think, y'all were just being niggas and thought of that. Yeah, you got to your things blind though. That's fine. But yo, she's more She's more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Baby, come here now. Yeah, you're That's not thinking crazy. like that. You know what I mean? Baby, give but me the next now. shorty can't even see nothing. But she's fam. doing, she's she knows fat. how to Braille, feel the way. Braille. The, the, the blind girl knows how to feel her way down there. You know what I'm saying? Zimmer. She knows. I'm <laughs> <laughs> saying? That's all she knows. Like, she's good at that. You're over there with you. Do you yeah. like it like this? Yeah, That's like. crazy. You niggas are just thinking about that ass in a dress. You know what I'm saying? You guys what are language what? are deaf people thinking? Yo. I'm gonna <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna just stick with that my ass. That whole brain. Yo, that one fucked me up, fam. What language? Should, let's take a vote, actually, to the polls. You know? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but like, what's that's... the poll? If you're hearing impaired, tell us what language. <laughs> you think. Yo, if you like, heard the question, how... answer it. Yo, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put captions for you guys if you guys can't get it. You know what I'm saying? This that's is fucked crazy. up. Okay, yo. These two want a, a big a big body death death thing. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I might take blind titties still. I might take. Yo, blind honestly, titties. you presented a, a good argument with the blind titties. I'm with the blind. So you like white girls? What do you mean? I said she was blind. And I'm asking you, like, you date white no, girls? No, don't, oh, do okay, okay. don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I was asking just a question. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with it. So it's it's not Black wrong. History Month. He said you will just, not taint him today. No, so it's just no, a no. question. Just a question. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Round two. Would you rather all your kids come out albino? Or lose an inch of dick. That's crazy, fam. Lose an inch of dick. What the dick got to do with me? 
What the hell? It's your That's thing. their business. I'm not being represented by no albino children. <laughs> yeah, like what? When's the last time you even seen an adult albino? You're going to lose an inch of dick or only make albino children? Oh, you want a child that's going to make it to 18 and then just disappear off the face of the planet? That's crazy. I mean, like, yo, do you want your children to go missing apparently at the age of 18? <laughs> or do you want to lose an inch of dick? I don't want either of these oh, scenarios to be absent. I lose an inch of dick? <laughs> yes, nigga. Oh, I thought you, I thought about... you meant them. Yeah, yeah, you made it seem no, like the kids are no, losing. No, no, no. Selfish ass niggas. Selfish that's, niggas. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Niggas, like, oh, my kids got small dicks. Whatever. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah, yeah. Yo, I'll, bring I'll bring it back. Let me bring it back. Let me yeah, bring it back. Let me bring it back. Care about let them would you before. rather <laughs> all your children, everything you ever reproduce, mm-hmm. comes out albino, mm-hmm. or you yeah. lose an inch of dick? I'll lose an inch. I got enough to go around. I'm cool. I don't want no <laughs> albino kids. <laughs> I don't even want to be saying all that. Next thing I know, I get an albino kid. You know? Or you lose some dick. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, you're just... That's crazy. Remember what you said, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dick shrinking. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even like the concept of my body shrinking, fam. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing if I started <laughs> off with that size and I'm used to it. Like, yo, don't take piece of me, fam. It's the yeah. kids, fam. Like, yo, your whole I don't even know is, those niggas yet, fam. Yo, kids. they might have to be pale. Because oh, I just don't wow. even, Like, I heard the man say shrinking. I'm like, ooh. I'm still claiming <laughs> like, I, them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. <laughs> First black man to claim his kids. Claim them. Yo, yo. He has That's to claim them. They're going to fucking. I'm making a joke. Who are these white children? children? I'm Surmise. making a selfish decision still. They might still have good hair. Fuck. So you're going to have your albino children? Good hair? What, what, do you, what is that supposed to mean? My hair looks good. I'm going to give oh, them that. Oh, they might he did, still have... Yeah, he, he didn't say he's going to take everything. He said they're just pale. They're so albino. They might have your good... Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Albino with hair, the yeah. slick back is No, no, crazy. I'm just I'm saying at least he didn't take everything. You I'm going to laugh at you and your fluorescent kids. Albino with the slick back is crazy, though. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. These kids are untrustworthy. Yeah. I don't really want to lose an inch of dick, but I'm going to hold you. I, losing like, I something wanna, is different like, than starting off with it, I don't want to do that, but like... But like you're pro- I don't want to be running around. a child that you may never see again after 18. You may never reproduce. Why walk one after 18? I don't know. When's the last time <laughs> you seen an adult albino? Yo, he's That's not crazy. wrong. Fam, the life expectancy can't be just 18. Like, I'm hoping they're above I, this. You can't answer the question. You've been on this planet, I feel like, a few, a long time, No. So I'm keeping my inches. I'm sure you went to high school in Albino. You seen Albino. You want to stay yourself, yeah? I'm staying myself still. Right, Unfortunately, we don't even got you. We for wasn't that selfish long. niggas, though. I'm not gonna hold Fab, you. I'm selfish. selfish he called us selfish. selfish. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not even gonna like feel like myself if I wake up in the morning and I lose an inch. Of dick. Like I'm just <laughs> not even gonna like this. I'm not gonna like what's going on. I get I, I'm bricked up and it's just shorter. Like nah. You yeah, should have talked to me last week. Fam, yeah. watch our previous. Cra- I was okay Having being less is crazy. Fam, I was okay being short. Steve Harvey with a big Woodrow seed. We need I'm less not, of, I'm not less of this buddy conversation though. <laughs> Sorry. Next question. Moving forward, but yo, you're the one. You're yeah, so. I'm bricked up. <laughs> like that was the right. It's shorter. That was the nah, line nah, for nah, me. Nah, Bro, it's crazy. Add it shorter. Move on. Got you. <laughs> this is a comedian based question. Got you. Round three. Mm. Would you rather date a six with a sense of humor? In fact, she's hilarious. Or a dime. A perfect 10. Yeah. But she's not funny and only gets half of your jokes. Give me a six with a sense of humor. Okay. Six is to be fire too. She's six. She's kind of like she's six. Like you want to cheat on a her. Good personality. No, what do you I don't mean cheat. you want to cheat a good on per- her? Sometimes. A good personality <laughs> can make or break a woman. There's a category of women you want. That's to cheat true. On. I like, agree with that. Yeah. Because <laughs> when you could be a ten and just be known, you there's got a lot, There's to a offer. lot of tens in this city that are just plain. But yeah. are they really tens then? <laughs> No, 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 no! Don't do all that. We're talking about visuals. Yeah, we're talking about visuals. Okay. Now we're convoluted. Right. Yeah, there are I, ten I visually. Say, I said that. But then like, when you start to talk to them, it's like you lost like eight decibels. Yeah, you got no personality. So yeah. you're taking the six with a great personality. Like you ever hung with a girl and if you stop talking, combo's dead. Yep. Like the room's silent. Like yeah, she's waiting for your lead. She got I nothing to add. I got to lead every conversation. Like, how was your day? She didn't what did you day. do today? My mouth is dry. You know, like talking this is terrible. Much. Bro, I drove to Hamilton one time. Tell us about it. We're taking the car. And, like, like she had nothing. So it was just a silent drive, or you guys had tunes playing? It was dry, like, African footback in the winter. 
So what'd you do? <laughs> Try stuff. You got you got like a head ass or something? Like, well, I'm glad. A head ass. No, wow. He's so we, bored, he's going to get a head ass. I'm so nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I respect the deviousness, though, fam. You're like, trying to yo, make the best yeah. of the you situation. You got to his strength, so talking's not even you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, you got to go out. Nah. Don't worry. You got something for that. Like, yo, you got to improvise. I got to think on your toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a long nah, drive. We deal with it. All right, Hamilton. <laughs> You're not even talking. You're not using your emotions. I live here. in the East. Like, you better figure out something. <laughs> Yo, I like. <laughs> That's a joke. Oh, I got no jokes for my ears? I got some. Yeah, you no, got some. I can't. I can't <laughs> That's, just, that's yeah. a no-no. That's a no-go. Why? Uh, how the long I got to be with her? Like, what's, this, what's the parameters? Two years. The hilarious six or the dime piece? Two, two like, she, oh, the dime piece excites you. Like, you see her... Bruh, the boy that you're I bet six. you six is doing some freaky shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Six. But you still want to cheat. Yo, I'm not going to hold you, right? Why y'all got to be cheating? <laughs> he did, he's a six. Yo, this thing is I didn't up. say it, bro. Yo, he a did. six with a you're good personality found, is a 10 that. to me. That's how I look at it like That's that. what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm like, six might be... That person I make a difference. You ever you're noticeably over? better looking than her. I'm noticeably better looking than a lot of bitches. So you're okay with like being that, better looking than... You don't... You like it? personally? Huh? You're going to like... You like being better looking than your women? No, I'm not. I'm not no pretty boy. I you, I didn't say that. Nah, but like you, cause cause you said like a lot, a lot of you're better looking than a lot of women. But like, does that affect how you feel about them? Cause like me personally, like my shorty has to look better than me, or at least as good. Like I don't know, she got to be the main feature. Like I showed up with her type shit. You don't. Know I, I feel mean? you. Thank like, you. Like my girl has to you. look good still. She could, she could look good, but I'm always the main feature. Like she always with me, but I need to make sure that like if I turn my back, she's not gonna be just. In the clouds, you know? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm to fight for their mouth. Like, that's yeah, crazy. no, she gotta like she gotta go work the room. Go have a conversation with somebody you never met. Go, go figure it out. Like, I like, I like that. And I, I like, I like to turn around and like, oh my girl, you might not want her doing all that. <laughs> Don't huh? talk. She's too hot. You may not want her going. No, out. she's too hot. She can't do all that. Men will come to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men will come to no girl like they know you. Yo, babes, go talk to people. You see it? That's crazy. The mentality is different. You see the 10, you'll stay right here. See? Yo, six. You don't even have to tell. Get out there. You don't even have to tell a 10 to stay right there. Don't like make that. friends. A 10 doesn't even know what to do in a room. Because she's not used to do it. She's not used to making the first move. Right. Okay. You want your six piece? Six piece? Fuck, buddy. Tell you. I didn't eat chicken McNuggets. I hope she's not McNuggets. But that's how he's regarding your girl, because she's a six. No, she's six, a six piece. piece. She, she looks like nuggets. She's a 10 with the nuggets. personality. She's a 10 with the person. Without the personality, she's a six. No, yo, yeah, she's 10. She's a good person. She's just not funny and doesn't get your jokes. That's, that's a, a big six. difference, though. That's a 10. No, but she... No, I'm talking about she's a 10 because of the, the personality. That's oh, in your her. brain. Oh, in your brain. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. In the real world, <laughs> you have a six. In my brain. <laughs> In the real world, you're walking around. No, uh, it's my ten, guys. Sure, this is tough still because six is crazy. It's not that crazy. You seen Ooh, the map? fam. <laughs> you said it with so much confidence, and like, where do you even find all that confidence? It's not because at the same, I agree with homie, bro. If she, so yo, if, she, if her you're having apprehension, he's over here. He sounds like he's leaning on his big six. Fuck it. I'll, six sounds like she I'll got a lot more six, to offer. Cause yo, two years a long fucking time still. Okay, two years so, gonna feel like ten. With a ten, a, a ten girl, I have no personality. Yeah, six got a lot more to like offer. To sentence. be honest, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's gonna be happy and cracking jokes with their six piece. I fuck. How you feel? Like yo, after you I'll crack, after 26, you crack a ten, no personality. It's like get off of me. Mm-hmm. That's why I asked. Leave. All along, Are you know? still here? Like, no, you're <laughs> not I didn't say over. she had no person. Like, bro, <laughs> yeah, she's you just did. not funny. You, you I said she's on not funny. And no, no, my not exact funny is no personality. No, there's plenty. Yo, of not getting, funny. not getting half the jokes. Half the jokes. That shit hurts. I'm not gonna hold. That's you. crazy. Ah, but he's a comedian. She better be getting half the jokes. She should be getting all of them. <laughs> oh no, like a, a good percentage. No, some at of least half. Over their head for sure, Ski. <clears throat> Moving on. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I gotta ask you though, since we're on the topic. I know it's gonna be something crazy. I hope so. <laughs> so, yo, are girls funny? Like female. Not girls. when they say they're funny, but they are funny. Heath is. But a girl not. that just says, "Yo, I'm funny." You're not funny. Stop. Like you that's most of I say they're not funny. Yeah, there's a, there's obviously a one two female comedians that's funny. You know what I mean? I've seen oh, some funny. He's women. talking about no no no. He's talking in about general. Women in general. So in general oh. and and it was mm. both. It was a it was a two part question. So it was in general. Yeah. You have to get them to say yo I'm funny and say like, no you're not. So you have them <laughs> and then a woman telling you she's funny is like a man telling you he's a bad man. Yes. It's like you don't have to say things like that. You that you just know. You just your actions will prove that's who you are, and mm-hmm. you're securing yourself. But when you walk around, tell me I'm funny. I'm funny. I'm, you're not funny at all. Uh, like, I'm like not, the pressure's like, on you, know you when you tell that. So I watched Shots recently. Seen mm-hmm. yo that man. There, First time, right? 
No. Okay. Oh, no, you're, you're light skinned. I couldn't tell. <laughs> That's great. Fab, so is Kamani. What are you talking about? Hmm? So is Kamani Marley. What are you talking about? We're the same skin tone. He was Don't a Batman or he was an actor? Yo, Fab, in the movie, he was an actor. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. That man's like reggae, R&B, uh, one love. <laughs> All I'm saying is I watch shots and you see that. And that man there announced their Badmanism and their Badman hood chip. Pretty frequently, but that's different. That's different. Yo, they do it in the middle of committing the act. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, I'm just saying. No, you said they're niggas announced it. Niggas announced it. Them niggas announced it. That's all I was getting at. They're not announcing it to Gyaldo. They're announcing it to next Bodman. Say, yo, I'm well, the bigger Bodman. And they're pulling up on them. And like, they're teeth and everything. Yeah. Mirror say lockdown Miami, fuck Jamaica, like, like yo, the what? The what? Explaining that you're funny is like explaining that you're tough. Yeah, it just it doesn't like go that way. Like you can't in intimidate circles. me with an explanation. You know, like it doesn't yeah. work that way. Imagine so, you having to, like a gal I'm explaining she's sexy. <laughs> it's all the same. It's <laughs> all in the same wild, boat. Like wild. you shouldn't have to sexy explain people, this. You should just see it and feel it. Like, yeah, yeah. As, <laughs> women can be funny though. Yeah. I'm moving forward. Are we, are we ready to move forward? We ready? I all feel right. like we would move forward already. No, we didn't. We took two steps back. No, but the way you deaded the conversation like that with the finger, I feel like it was time to move forward. <laughs> I like, I, Josh, I like your observations. Like he made the room silent. It's like, we can't go back at this point. The finger is... <laughs> right. Yeah, he put the finger out. It's over at that point. This guy does this shit to bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he does. He does that to his tens. Oh, his tens. He does. He's like, enough of you. Enough as of soon as he says, I'm funny, he just hits her with one of these, okay. bro. Just silences okay. the whole thing. <laughs> Crazy. Would you rather give up cake or pie the rest of your life? Pie. Cake. Cake. Pies are mad things, though. Pie's amazing. Apple well, pie, yo, there's... pumpkin pie, whipped So, cream. yo, yeah. see, I Madness. thought about all that. It fucked me up, right? Madness. Shepherd but then pie. I like certain cake. Like, I like... Yo, throw it in there. Shepherd's I like cake, pies, fam. Pie. No, 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 no. We're, we're not doing food-based pies. We're doing dessert-based pies only. You said pie. All these rules. Yeah, fam. In that pie. case, lasagna's a pie, but we're not doing that. It's not a pie. It's That's dessert crazy. pie. Dessert, dessert, niggas. All right, dessert. Pie. Not a pie. No, no. It Sugary is. pies. <laughs> it is. Lasagna's a pie. Don't do that. You it's bake it. Pie. You bake it. It's a pie. A pie. You bake chicken. Chicken a pie? No, but lasagna is actually called a pie of lasagna. Lasagna's Since pasta, when? Fam. Don't it's a let pasta. Pie. Don't let this Lasagna's a pasta never, pie, nigga. I ain't never heard of pasta. It's a pie of pasta. Yes, I heard, heard of pizza that. called a pie. I heard pizza, pizza called a pie. Lasagna pie. There's still niggas out there trying to tell me no, tomatoes right are fruit, right eh? You know, so like, tomatoes are fruit. Not tomatoes are fruit, though, by definition. See how you're going to be wrong? But when you go to No, no, no. It might be, but when you go get a fruit bowl. How you feel about it, it feels like a vegetable. When you go get a fruit bowl and you see tomato in there, that's like, it's on a ride. You don't want that now. No, I feel you. I agree with you. So cut that out, that fruit talk. <laughs> I got crazy. I love tomatoes, by the way. <laughs> Big up tomato. tomato. <laughs> I don't want to offend the tomato community out there. <laughs> don't get canceled, fam. I'm trying to get Holy a tomato. Uh, you can't cancel somebody you don't support. Anyhow, anyhow. Specifically, it's a casserole. Moving forward, though. It's not a pie. He looked it up. I it did. Right. Yeah, the fuck he, you he, think? What's a casserole? His... That's what white people make. What is that? You, you think Italians are black? Some of them, yes. Okay. Sicilians? Okay, bro, bro. bro hold on, hold on, hold on. Lasagna is a casserole now? No, no, you want to bring it up. Down? You say you think Italians are, but where do you think, where do you think them big body, thick thighs Italian women Bam, come from? Like, the southern ones with the olive skin tone. They black. Ask Hannibal. I don't Hannibal know about black, so I know they have a black population, but yo, a lot of them are like he he know, fam, he, Middle he Eastern knows, fam. He knows. Hannibal went crazy in southern Italy. Anyhow. I'm just about to put my finger up with these ones. These, these are quite crazy. Let's put his finger up. He's ready. All right. Every man said what cake? I, they I said give up they're, cake, they're pie, the pie niggas. Yeah, I uh, said I'll keep the pie. He was. I'm giving, giving up pie. A pie. Yeah. Giving up What's pie? your favorite kind of dessert cake? <sighs> I just specify now. You niggas get. You said she got to specify. I, honestly, I fuck with a good carrot cake. God, that's fire. I'm not even gonna lie, like my brain didn't go oh, there. Yeah, carrot cake's good enough. I love when like, Jamaicans I make it. Like, like, first, like, I fuck with like a good carrot cake is fire. No, you know what? I'm gonna give up pie for this because yo, there's tiramisu I like and I like black cake. I don't like tiramisu. That's, that's like good that. for you. I didn't even consider tiramisu a pie. Oh no, my light. What happened to our light? Yo, James, our light went off. It's all right. I didn't even consider tiramisu a pie. It's, it's just a, a dessert that I don't eat. It's a cake. This guy's like the Sorry, I ain't. Anyways, moving on. All right, all right, let's pause, pause, pause. We're pausing, we're fixing our light. Okay. I didn't like how our light went on. I'm refilling my cup. Yeah, me too. I feel like I was trapped because my water been done. Oh, That's hydrate. thirsty hydrate. over there. Hydrate, hydrate, brother, hydrate. Uh, I blame, just blame Mitch. Man. It might be a dopey in that corner. No, 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 no dopey up <laughs> here. I'm, I'm a bad man. <laughs> Go tell that to the. Uh, the Duffy don't, don't believe you. The Duffy don't believe you. Duffy's like, no, you're not. At the bar explaining your bodmanisms. <laughs> Yo, I boss gun, eh? Yo, I can't lie. They're going off in, bro. Uh, they're going off in the freaking things right now. 
Yeah, I'm so just up? niggas are just still like, arguing like, about just, racism no, in the comments. Like, nigga, these guys are going yeah, off on him. But it's funny down. because white people are commenting about black people being racist. It's crazy. Yeah, because white people been waiting. Fam. White people been waiting for the man to be racist. <laughs> A man's in front of his phone, like I told you, bro. No, I'm sure. I'm, uh, no, I'm good on the day. I'm straight. Thank you, though. That's, that's a very... It's a gentleman, nigga. That's a gentleman, nigga. Yeah, I respect that. I'm some of this beverage, bro. This is H2O? Yeah, I need the hydration. Yeah, I'm over here just being... I'm drinking rice wine. It's fine. Boom. All right. Moving forward. Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Would you rather eat a bowl of dog food? Like doggy kibble? Crazy. Or three dead cockroaches? You're bugging out. Sorry, pick one. <laughs> Literally bugging out. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> a bowl of doggy kibble or three cockroaches dead? I don't even want to answer this. Well, you have to. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> You're right. But, yo, I would prefer if you did. <laughs> this is wild. How You're did you get so left with the question? It just happens. They, they do those. He does, though. Don't yeah, say they. He put it on him. Fight for that. Uh, <laughs> dress up your tox, bro. <laughs> doggy kibble. Doggy kibble or three roaches. Don't say roaches. It's supposed to be quick fire. And it's like oh, long. quick fire. Sorry. Uh, yo, I don't know, man. I'm going to go with the three roaches. Three roaches. I might do yeah, three roaches. Um, but like three they're roaches? seasoned up and dried up proper like the protein they're just roaches? Dead. No, 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 no. They're up just dead, Tom. They're just dead in there. There's no seasoning. Yeah, but doggy kibble is wild. Like Three dead roaches or doggy kibble? I'm just starving, I'll be honest. Um, I'll go all sad. Uh, dog, is, what, what's the kibble? Is that the dry one? Yeah. I'm gonna eat the doggy kibble. I don't a know whole bowl. I mean the kibble. You guys gonna eat three dead cockroaches? I'm not eating the roaches. So you gonna eat a whole bowl of dog food? Over I'm three roaches. I'm yes. gonna eat the three roaches. Fam, I don't even want to pick no, up no, the roaches. No, no, but then. but some of these cockroaches they can be seasoned and all that stuff. No, no, these aren't them. I'm not just picking up a roach off the ground and yamming that. That's no, no, no. Three of them died in the corner of your house, and we're putting them in a bowl, and you're eating them. I'm getting the dog food. Yo, in one <laughs> bite, I can eat all I don't of know. that. We're not in Thailand. So okay. You're not seasoning it up with all types of sauce. But in Fuck one, you. but in one bite, I can eat three of those roaches. Is dog I, food poisonous? No, dogs eat it. They're blessed. No, dogs eat a lot nasty. of things that we can't eat. They're blessed. <laughs> 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 don't ever follow this guy. No. <laughs> Yo. If you have doubts, don't turn to him, bro. Oh Next question, man. This guy is crazy. So what you be, what you pick it? I said oh, I didn't. <laughs> he said he's, di- <laughs> yeah, he said he's right. dying. That's what he yeah, said. Yeah, I'm dying, but like I get it, but yo, what are you dying with? A you're bowl dying, of kibble or a bowl nah, of yeah, dying with the roaches, These are hypothetical man. roaches and hypothetical kibble. Yeah, I take the I take the yeah. Yeah, you guys go over there and yam yeah, dog food still. Yeah, you guys do the thing. I eat the one too. You need the roaches? Yeah, you mind them or But I'm gonna cook them up still. I'm gonna season them my own way. No, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm no. You never said how I can eat it. I'm a, I gotta eat it. That's all I gotta do. I'm gonna season it. I'm gonna squeeze out the. the all I know is that's one Mine's bite instead of a bowl roach. of kibble. Yeah, curry bro, you gotta hit on me. Tandoori roach is crazy. Yeah, what do those South Americans call it? Roach curry. Anyways, moving forward. Yeah, I'm crazy. not even talking to niggas that eat roach curry. I'm sorry. Like, and that's if wild. you get offended, you should be. Um, <laughs> would you rather lose three toes on any foot or one finger on any hands? Jeez. One finger, because without those toes, you can't walk. Your balance is gone. One toe will throw off your balance, yeah, I'm much take, less three. I'm, I'm throwing up enough gang signs. Yeah, you ain't, see, you ain't <laughs> see Deion Sanders? He lost one toe. He can't even make it across the field without a walker. Crazy. You talk about three toes? You, yeah, you, yeah, you're yeah. not getting up. You're uh, not going I'm just nowhere. You know, I was just checking because like, people look at your hands before they look at your feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you need those feet. You do bro. need them. You do need them. You couldn't make it to that door without three toes. I feel you. I feel you. Would you rather be born with an extra eye or oh, an extra yeah. arm? Everybody answered? Did you even answer? I think that was like... He just explained it for the man. Yeah, I'm trying to walk. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody he said he presented a good I'll argument. I figured out. I could have done this the whole interview. Niggas wouldn't even have known. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the minute y'all pack it up and you just see me stuck in a chair, you'd be like, yo, what's happening? <laughs> we got you, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be born with an extra eye or an extra arm? An extra eye or an extra arm? <laughs> I'm looking crazy either way. How big is this extra arm? It's a full size arm, bro. That's wild. It's the size it's of just, that one. Just poking out here, just randomly, like. That's crazy. Your oh. third eye is crazy as fuck. Though. Where's that gonna go? Your forehead or something, bro? That's it. I'm that's wearing a shiesty. Shiesty. Ex- Still, I just wear shades. Exactly. All day. Wears, I'm wearing a shiesty I'm all day. Take the yeah. eye and shades. just wear wear a hat or something. Yeah, I wear. Glasses. That third arm is unhideable, and no one's gonna like that. I might do the extra that. arm. So I might do the extra arm. What are you gonna do with it, bro? I don't know. Beat niggas up or something. 
<laughs> Might not just shoot you still. You yeah. back out a third arm. Bro. Yeah. No, it's What's wrong with this weirdo? <laughs> like, yeah, no more hand to hand. You lost an opportunity. You yeah. I don't, even, I don't even fight dudes with two arms. Like, yeah. You fight have a man three? with three. Yeah, you already got the upper. Bro, you got anything extra you shouldn't have. It's on. It's up. It's up. Yeah. Three yeah. eyes, three. What? It's up. You're getting yeah. maximum yeah. violence. Maximum. Who do you think would win in a fight? Goku or Superman? I'm riding with my nigga Goku, fam. Fuck that. I feel like Goku is just in the field more still. Goku's yeah. in the field. He whooped a lot of ass. I got bro. Goku. I mean, you got Goku. Yeah. Proven track. Goku can fight like, this yo, whole life. There's a large <clears throat> internet discussion debating Superman can kick Goku's ass still. Superman, like, bro, has he been defeated aside from some kryptonite? I don't aside know. Aside from some kryptonite? But yeah, guy? one, he has the kryptonite. So yeah, like, but Goku's I can a just good locate dude. some kryptonite. Goku wants to battle dude. that man. He's not going to all here just drug a man. Goku's <laughs> out <laughs> here He's a training. and taunt them. He's out here training in the gravity. I'm not gonna lie. He's taking orders from Batman, a nigga with no powers. Batman carries the kryptonite. He's a bad. Nah, he's I've been telling you about Batman name? not having powers, fam. I told you there's a low Batman's ranking. Batman's an for average that, bro. civilian. Luther, I told that's you about this guy. He just bro. abuses the mentally ill. That's what Batman does. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Song. I fuck with you. Guys, seen Vince Staples' um take on all Batman fought with dope fiends? <laughs> yeah, the Joker. I Jokers. didn't see, no, I see, see more people agree with me. He's not a guy. But think about that. Riddler. All Batman's ops. Live long and healthy lives. Bro, all Batman's ops don't want to kill him. Yo, he'd actually... Like, no, but yo, Batman's a good youth. I mean, <coughs> until he's in front of a civilian. He puts him in the bin. He doesn't kill them. Batman beats up and packs civilians. That's kind of even and more wild. Get away with it. Your justification is that he gets man's locked up. He that doesn't kill you. He said they live healthy Your long superpower lives. is jail time? You suck. Name an op Batman guy. <laughs> Penguin, Penguin probably died on his own volition. <laughs> the Joker's still running out here. He, Riddler put him... A schizophrenic scientist had this nigga in a chokehold. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Riddler's a pervert still. Huh? Riddler's a pervert. Diddler. And he had Batman twist up. The Diddler. The Diddler. Goku's out here stomping, man. So Goku... Okay, yeah, yeah I got... Uh, Goku's cooking people and his offsprings. Yeah. Diddle, the yeah. <laughs> what about Goku versus the Hulk? I'm still going with Goku. Goku. Goku, because he's going to hit him with a Kamehameha. That nigga can't even control Hulk, himself. Yo, fam, the Hulk takes gamma radiation, big man. The Hulk, you never the Hulk got a Kamehameha at some though. point in his life, is Bruce Banner. Nah, because Bruce Banner could die and the Hulk takes over. I read no. it recently. Yes? No, no, yes. no, no, no. I've never seen a movie or you cartoon. You don't read no comic books. Fam, if, okay, no, no, yo, if no, no, go fight. That. Every movie, the nigga's Bruce Banner at one point, and he, he goes back and forth. So when that time where he's Bruce Banner, he's getting chefed by Goku. And what level of Goku are we talking about? Yeah, there's beer levels. Like you, what, you turn into fucking Hulk. I'm going to Super Saiyan five. Like, mm -hmm. fuck is, this. Is there five? Right there's now? a four for sure. I don't know if there's a five. Found the man. I'm have like a nuclear. No, there's God. There's then. God it's mode done. after that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's God. All right, Super Saiyan God. Yeah, that's what it is. Rest All in peace, right. Akira. And shout out Dragon Ball Z. Rest so. in peace. Exactly. We gotta pay homage. We gotta pay homage. Shout out to the niggas that try to I'm not gonna lie. The way that Dragon Ball Z show. had an impact on the world, the whole world, fucking crazy. You see, them, like they even have the the <clears> statistics <throat> of the cartel. Like the, I think the crime and all the killing goes down when a new episode of Dragon Ball is released. The niggas in the house watching that. The niggas <laughs> actually took some time. Like I swear, they actually. Uh, I think there was like a day or two that they took off from doing cartelisms and fucking uh mourning the death of. Like Dragon Ball Z <laughs> was so real that anime people were like, yo, it doesn't count if you watch Dragon Ball Z. Like, what the I was hell gonna ask you, mean, you know dude? what? Because it got to too many people. Yeah, they hate and it got too public and got too gentrified. I'm like, no, no, no. It's just amazing anime. Stop so hold on. let me get, let me hit the niggas with a side note question before I carry on. Is it still weird in 2024 if a niggas watch anime? Like I remember back in the day, like there was kind of like a stigma, like nigga, you're weird. You have the niggas them that run like this. You know what I mean? Like they're doing the they're running behind the back and yeah, all well, that. If you want to be weird, then you're gonna be weird. I ain't got nothing to do with watching I watched the show. all them anime and I never ran fast in the hallway like that. <laughs> I, feel, I feel that. <laughs> you know? I, feel Yo, that. I know some the, gangsters the that would did watch fucking <laughs> anime. Fam. I would. I definitely did a fake Kamehameha one two time in my life. You know what I'm saying? Were you even nine That's years old if you didn't do that? Hadouken. No, this is Kamehameha. You mixing it up. Uh, and Goku's chef in the nigga that does the Hadouken too. Don't you? And bring Madden up him. thought they were mad and could get to that next level. You know, just remember, Madden used to mm -hmm. think they were getting mad and stand there and tense. Madden up, would, man. yeah, I'm um, yeah, pop a blood like, vessel. Yeah, flexing and what? Yelling. Pop Goku a blood niggas. vessel. See, niggas have tears yeah. in their eyes from that, bro. <laughs> niggas really tried to go Super Saiyan. All right, moving forward. Would you rather everything you eat be super delicious and satisfying, but all the sex you have is completely unsatisfying and almost not worth having? Your sex life is completely depressing. But or your food life is busted. <laughs> all the sex you have is amazing, damn near euphoric, but all the food you have is completely underseasoned and underwhelming. What would you pick? Bomb sex or bomb food? Basically. That's crazy, bro. Good food has made me forget about bad sex. So you're going with good food? But good sex has made me hungry for some good food. 
See how that works? It's fucked up. See how that works, though? Nigga, I'm, I'm so, going to take the good food. You're taking the good food? I'm going to take the good food. As long as I get my nut off, I don't care how it was. <laughs> but, I'm a... But bop. <laughs> <laughs> but bop. Niggas, niggas forget that they used to beat off to like a side boob, you know? <laughs> Yo, Growing up. I know the struggle you were you know in, what brother. I mean? like I any, know anything you saw on TV, like, oh, go back nah, to that. Nah, what is nah, that? Nah, that like, Pamela like, Anderson's left cheek? You know? Nah, like, it didn't matter. Them things existed. TLN, bro. TLN. Hmm? Latin lover. Tell Latin Latin you, lover was the softest of soft you would see a titty, Nigga, you know. said side titty. At least you see full breasts. Nigga, For Channel 35 seconds. at 1 a.m. was busting. They don't, don't, no, that was crazy. Latin don't Latin sleep. Lover, Channel 35 at 1 a.m. was busting. Man, I tried to shoot on the thing. Lie, it was, was like crazy. 29 or 28 in Scarborough. It was 35 hmm? in the. It was 20, wait, what are you talking about? It was 29. It was 29 where I was. 28. 35 in the Showcase was 29. Okay, they're both, but they're both devious. Yeah, free both TV of them are filthy channels. Yeah, the same time. Sure. So was so is Channel C C T uh, City TV C T V. Are you talking about like Sunday night sex talk? No, and no, shit no. Like they, they used they used With to that have old her. Susan girl. Nah, she was a grimy bitch though. She was grimy. R I P her. <laughs> she, was Susan, eh? she was she was grimy though. She <laughs> can't say she weak. was a grimy bitch. <laughs> she was nah, grimy. I'm hold you, bro. Just seeing her old ass on the screen, bro, talking about some tunes. I, I gave her ratings though. She she told God them fix up and be a better girl. I hope so. And did they listen? You know they didn't. The jury is still out. Anyways. She didn't make enough impact. You want good sex or good food? She need more followers. Holy. <laughs> you didn't answer. Fuck. I'll probably take the food I eat more than I'm going to have sex. Fuck. You want good sex or good food? <laughs> the way I can. In the perfect world, just got to have both. No. <laughs> like, fuck. <sighs> good pussy. Good food. I get some good pussy. I get hungry. I'm full. I want some good pussy. <laughs> 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 Niggas over there in circles just... Yeah. Nigga, because it's like, yo, like... I need some good pussy still. I need some good pussy, fam. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with the food how it is, you know? I can't be crushing. It's not good. I'm going to be vex. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do good pussy. Like, too, I'm going to be vex, bro. Like, fire. I rather, Yeah, yeah. Because, yo, imagine, like, all the sex you have is just unsatisfactory. Like, you're just like, why did I do this? But your meal is slapping. It's not even fair. <laughs> yeah, the meal is going crazy. Yo, everything about the Because you're over there picking sucks, at the fam. food. And you're like, yo, bro, I put it down. I thought I put it down. <laughs> yeah, it's bad food will ruin a day. Ruin one day, you, bro. bro. Moving forward. You can only take showers with dish soap, or you can only use 70% rubbing alcohol as mouthwash. Pick one. Showers with dish soap. The dish soap. The dish soap. Dish soap. Niggas do that. Yeah, some they niggas out here really do that. Bad. Thank Why? you. No, Bad. no, thank you, thank you, thank Yo, you. Thank you. there's niggas who... No, you'd have to ask women. There, there's women out there that have gone to a man's crib and went to use the washroom and peed the shower and there's detergent in there. I yeah, want to know how they feel upon seeing that. Or they might just put it in the... <laughs> there's soap in there, you know. There's niggas that live like that. There are niggas that... See, he yeah, knows, bro. There are niggas even... who live like yeah. that, bro. That's not okay though. Like, it's not, is it? But, but in the scenario, guy, alcohol, mouthwash. Outside of his twisted little games, fam, that shit's not okay. But it's you barely the, okay in the game. Fam. I understand that, but the only thing that was unreal about his thing was the mouthwash. The the, the, the detergent is he real. Said, I believe you. I'm still disappointed. Yeah, seventy yeah, percent so. is wild. Sorry, forty percent. We're just no, no. Stay that. at seventy. It's called, Cause yeah, I'm not using uh, the seventy percent ever. I wouldn't even use that ever. Like on a I'll just check it. I'll just check it. I'll just check it. Yeah. The dish so soap yo, is we wild, have though. a dish soap. Dish soap. <laughs> I ain't using that seventy percent. So. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. All right, so I'll need some cocoa butter after, and I'm blessed. Do you have a one two you would like to get off before I proceed? I got one two. Yeah, if I'm asking people to ask questions and let them know how you feel, to get Bigger it off your them. chest. Get it off your chest, bro. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Start off like, yo, LeBron or Jordan. Kobe or Jordan? That's crazy. Uh, That's Kobe crazy or Jordan's stuff. tough. <laughs> <laughs> but just imagine, because disrespected your question, just because I Jordan have came that. first, Jordan. But I, I like, I prefer Kobe. I got to see that mentality every single day. Rape trial, Kobe, undefeated. That's crazy. Undefeated. Does him being dead play a factor? Does it make it like legendary no. for you? No, even oh, before. Yeah, His death kind of made me appreciate. Was it? Nah, I wouldn't say his death. His retirement is when I really started to appreciate it. Because I was a Laker hater growing up. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And who do you hate the most? The best. Mm. It wasn't a dude in the league I hated more than Kobe. What and happened? It was only because he was winning. Mm. Only because he was winning. Fourth look at, quarter, Kobe get look crazy. At the, other guy, the other guy you mentioned. 
he, he had to go form a super team just to stop Kobe the from winning other all those guy games. you mentioned. Yo, the strays are crazy. The strays are absolutely like, ridiculous. You should probably get low and find safety. The strays, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. They're shooting outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't, are we you don't, asking everybody or just this guy? I'm, I'm well, I don't know, I know you don't really give a fuck about basketball, I but I'm going to ask you. Mm -hmm. I still I'm going to go again. I'm going to go with Jordan I'm wearing this in that shoes. scenario, but if yeah. it was, look, I go with Kobe all around. Yeah, like, Kobe that guy. No, I don't wear no other nigga shoes. Kobe's that guy. Like Kobe that, had that. The other you you named, his kids wore Jordans to see him break almost every milestone. That was the craziest thing I've seen. Like, they have no respect. <laughs> yeah, that's wild still. But they have like, no respect. LeBron has never made a uh, superior shoe to Jordan. Like no, you can't you can't compete no, you with can't. Michael Jordan's shoes. I'm wearing them right From now. From the ankle down, you wearing them right. We're all wearing them. I'm not gonna lie, three niggas are out here wearing Jordans. Yeah, it's wild still. Yeah, yeah. We know who wins. And, yeah, and? I've never seen a man swag the yeah. other guys just on a on a on a regular. You can't. You know? His yeah, offspring. I've seen a one too, like the South <clears throat> Beaches. They look a pink and the the blue colorway was kind of cool, but apart from that. Those aren't jean shoes. Yeah. No, 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 no. They're for shorts. Yeah, I don't watch enough basketball, so I'm going to say Jordan because I respect the shoes. <laughs> Yo, Jordan, he has the shoes and his youth pipe and Larsa Pippen. It's kind of funny. Yeah, they broke up, thankfully. That was wild. Yeah, it was crazy. funny. It was he funny. wanted to get back on that will. It was funny. That's crazy. Yeah. Boom forward? Soccer or basketball? Like, oh, soccer. I don't know. Like, it doesn't matter. I was like, light. I don't care what it is. Soccer. Okay. Yeah, football. Football. Basketball football. all day. Uh, Basketball, I suppose. Yeah, basketball. Yeah, you must not like soccer because you don't even like basketball. Like, he doesn't care about either. I don't care about either. He just picked the first sport that came to No, I'm wearing. <laughs> it could have been tennis. Nigga. Like, he doesn't care. <laughs> I'm wearing Jordan. I got to go with, like, fuck, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Messi. You're just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah, I'm going Ronaldo. The guy, he won the World Cup last year, right? Two years ago? Messi didn't. He did, but I'm still going No, no, Ronaldo. I said Ronaldo. Ronaldo? Yo. He didn't win no damn World Cup. Oh. You know he didn't win no damn World Cup. He just wanted me to say this shit. <laughs> That's all it was. All right. Well, I had this one, but you already kind of answered it, so I'm going to edit it. Dave Chappelle or Eddie Murphy? Eddie, because I don't think we get a Chappelle without Eddie in the sense where... Chappelle's first ever Hollywood movie was in Eddie's movie. Eddie seen Chappelle in a comedy club and liked him so much. He's like, yo, dude, do you write? The way you write, the way you tell your jokes, it's like a picture. You should write. So do we get a Chappelle show without Eddie's blessing? Do we get Dave Chappelle to make movies without Eddie saying, yo, I'm flying you to New York and we're going to film Nutty Professor and mm -hmm. you're going to be in that movie. Same thing he did to Chris Rock when Chris Rock was 14. Chris Rock's first ever Hollywood movie was in Eddie Murphy's movie, Beverly Hills Cop, when he was that little 14-year-old, 15-year-old kid working a valet on the, the, the shuttle for the pilot on the highway. Or whatever they call it, the, the tarmac or whatever the case was. So, like, Eddie's literally the big homie. The big homie. So you're going Eddie? Eddie. Yo, Eddie. Dave Chappelle. I'm going to go Chappelle. I'm just because... I'm going related. Dave Chappelle, yeah. too. Personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie yeah. Murphy did his thing, but like, I'm just talking about what's relevant up. to me. Yeah, yeah. Chappelle. I, had, I grew yeah. up on Chappelle primarily. I had to learn of Eddie after I already I was like, Oh, Dish Chappelle introduced me to yeah. the world of the comedy. Boom, did my Literally. homework, studied the homework. Boom, boom, boom. Eddie's there. Oh, this nigga's funny as fuck. Oh, obviously, before then, you have like your Red Foxes and all your other niggas. But like, I seen Eddie write a whole movie Is it and Red then Fox? play oh, eight or name? nine characters in the movie. And at one point, he's playing eight characters at one table. Yeah, but yo, he also well, got to find. I don't remember his right. His no, right. That shit is crazy. Though. It was that super. Was before that was before we had camera effects and camera tricks and niggas dancing up and doing all that. Yeah, thing. he's got to go and put on a different fit. One of the highest on each side of the table. Highest revenue that shit, so. actors of all time. That shit is That's how you make Richard all the money. Pryor. I met Richard Pryor. Go ahead. All right, Richard Pryor, fire. Yeah, yeah. My last, so my last question. You going shopping with Diddy or having drinks with Bill? That's a good question. We've asked it before. Sorry. You going shopping with Diddy? Yeah. Or having drinks with Bill? Cosby. I'm having drinks with Bill. Thank you. Because Bill ain't looking for me. Thank you. There's nothing in my drink. I guarantee that. He don't want nothing to do with this. Okay, I got a quick one. Martin or, <laughs> Martin, Martin or Fresh Prince? Martin or Fresh Prince? 
the show? Like just yeah, TV yeah, the show. Oh, yeah, the show. I really watch Martin. Too. Martin's oh, funny as funny. fuck. It's, it's two different audiences, yeah, but at the same time they hit everybody. Yeah, that's I'm why saying, I'm like, I it's I a. Get to see it as a kid, not like. No, nah, Martin's hilarious. Man. You should watch. You should watch Martin. Martin's hilarious. That's why I put them up there because I'm he's like, funny. So I, I I could believe the show is funny. It's funny, fam. But I mean, cultural I cultural much. impact. I gotta go with Fresh Prince. But we're in the, that we're in the fives. T- that doesn't take yeah, that doesn't take <laughs> anything away from the Martin show, but look at all the characters and all the actors that came through Fresh Prince. All the women will dated in that show were like megastars. And they're all bad. All bad megastars. All bad. Yeah. All bad. All of them. Shout out Nia Long. Shout Jeez. her out. Even Jada Pickett was crazy in that. She Vanessa, was. Vanessa Williams. That was before him was like oh, an evil woman. Yeah, well, she I was, was just bad. Jada no, Jada Pinkett. It's Jada Pinkett in, in Fresh she was Prince. Bad. She evil was came yeah, out of her. Forget what we and then, know of her now. Yeah. In the show. I, even back then, I don't like... No, them times... I know she had her time, but yo, even them times... Like, now that... When you look back on it now... What like, even during her like prime time, then time I still think it was like a little over hype. Still wasn't nah, even that's like, wild. Nah, 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 Jada nah, was your so prime used time to, 90s you're so black used to this woman. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, no, no, no. Time, like, like, even as a youth seeing Jada Pinkett, I'm like, oh, she's quiet. Yeah, that, bro, like, as she's a the, kid, like it was she was the only bro. girl that could pull off those fucking string bean fucking hair things. I hated it. I hated it. Fire. Nah, nah, I hated those set it off. She was. I hated the set it off. She was fire. She was fire. Her set it off. Her personality now ruined it for me, but. Who else did Will date in that show? There was more than that. He did, did he get uh did he ever have Lisa Bonet? Yeah. He did at one point, no? When he first went to college, she was like his teacher. Yeah, I think he had her. He had all the baddies, bro. Yes, he did like, have Lisa had, Bonet. Who else? Yeah, Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, the, the the supermodel? Come on. Martin yeah. was stuck with that with Gina. Freaking Vanessa, that's what Rick Fox's ex-wife? Hmm? That was Rick Fox's ex-wife. Vanessa. Vanessa Williams. Vanessa Williams was Rick Fox's ex-wife. He had her yeah, yeah, yeah. delivered the baby in the car. Sick. Mm-hmm. Oh, he even had yeah, Queen Will, Latifah. Will yep. was a guy in that. You show, know, so. like he was just like, yo, let me diversify. Yeah, <laughs> Will, Will was definitely a guy in that. You know show. what? Fuck it. Since we're on topic of TV shows, where top three sitcoms, everybody has to go. Go ahead. Quick. Top three sitcoms. Sitcoms. Like, oh, I guess like like Fresh Prince counts as a sitcom. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Does yeah. Chappelle show count as a sitcom? No, that's a sketch comedy show. Okay. Word, word, you word. should know the difference. I should. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like how you <laughs> tried, but you know. I try to take. <laughs> uh, Fresh Prince Sitcom God Can I go after? No I, Fresh Prince uh, I'm stolen now right now What happens? Sitcom You guys should take this moment to think here I right, got go mine ahead. Yeah, you guys Go ahead take, you guys go, What's go. yours? <sighs> Married with Children Married with Children That's fire Martin Martin Fresh Prince Fresh Prince Boom Three Go ahead Sick. Those three will have me laughing. I'm blessed. <laughs> Fuck. I'm Wayne's gonna go. Brothers. I gotta go. Wayne's Brothers gonna, crazy. That's why I gotta go with one of the Wayne's Brothers shows. Oh, Wayne's Brothers I crazy. Forgot about that. Yeah, never forget about those guys. Mm-hmm. Holy. We're happy. <laughs> we're happy and we're singing and, <laughs> and we're colored. Dun, 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 dun. So, yo, then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Fresh Prince, Wayne's Bros, Jamie Foxx show. Good. I was gonna say. Yeah. Is, about is Boondocks a uh, no. sitcom? No. I don't like this nigga's attitude. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, like basically anime. Yeah. Nigga, you didn't see this like nigga's finger up, anime. bro? You didn't yeah, see this, bro? Like, yeah. like, once I saw the finger, I should have known. <laughs> That's a judgment <laughs> finger. <laughs> uh, Fresh Prince. Uh, I want to say My Wife and Kids. So say it. My Wife and Kids was good. Yeah. Yeah, one more. And one more. What are you watching when there's nothing else to watch? Like, the cable's down. You need the sitcom. Like, and I just throw it on. Yeah, but yeah. it's something that you know you're going to watch it, and you're not. You're like, I'm satisfied. Arrested <laughs> Development. Really? Oh, yeah. That show was <laughs> funny. <laughs> I forgot. You have yeah. to narrow it down. Yeah, 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 you you have to narrow it down. Yeah. Yeah. Arrested yeah. Development yeah. go crazy. Yeah. Arrested Development Jason Bateman or whatever. Yeah, yeah. he's great. Nah, that, that show was crazy. funny. See, you have to narrow it down to, like, what's going to I never really liked Arrested Development, but think. Okay, Um, what do I like? I like... 
Fresh Prince, we all said it, so it's a cliche, so throw it in there, but I may vary. Um, the Wayne's Bros, definitely up there, and fucking that 70s show. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I like that, that show. 70 show was that was my too. second one. Wayne's Bros, why did I say my wife and kids? I don't know. You, that's what you did. Yeah, you're you thinking about, because isn't, isn't that what one of the Wayne's Bros is? Their older brother, Keenan or that's, some shit. Yeah, yeah the older Keenan. One. But yo, fam, that 70s show Keenan, is crazy. Damon. I always thought that 70s show was like the white equivalent to Fresh Damon, Prince. I thought that 70s show was like, okay. No, that 70s show. I didn't think it was super. That 70s show is fucking crazy. Even Third Rock was like, what age did you realize? Realize when they're in the basement, they're all just smoking weed. Instantly. Yeah. Instantly. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had weed smoking yeah, parents yeah. like instantly. Okay, fair, fair, <laughs> like, fair. Yeah. 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 Kelso yeah, yeah. Was but just that, high. that I <laughs> that they were like putting that girl through hell on that show. Who? Jackie. Uh, no, Mila Kunis. Yeah, Jackie. Sure. Yeah, Jackie. Yeah, she was getting all type of sexually assaulted. She was underage during those shows. Yeah. I don't know if she okay. Like I heard she was underage, but I also had heard I don't know about the sexual assault charges then yeah, or whatever you're saying. All that stuff up. I'm saying and like, the other you turn rape them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that show's, like, that show's hide. done, bro. Hide. Man, hide. Just get, like, hide. hide. The show was good. Anyhow, the show was good. The actors are crazy, but yeah, I don't know. I think Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher they actually had like but when they came out fending the rape boy. That was crazy. Well, Mila, that's their magic. They're trying to call. I guess what? They're, they're I'm not just, fending no rape on mine. I don't care how long I've known you, nigga. Ooh. If I, if you, what? Yeah, he's talking about that. What, what talking can about I say hype. about you? Oh. What can I say about this nigga that's good? Nothing. You raise people, I guess. Oh, like it's not nothing. My I can not my branch, nigga. If I nigga not ever rape things, it's like that's not my nigga no more. Okay, like, okay. I can't. I can't walk with that dude. No, that's that absolutely crazy. crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay. Um. You know he's a good dude. You know he just likes to take the pussy every so often. Like, what can you say about a rape on Think about that. That's a wild Tennessee. How does man feel about Seinfeld? Oh, I was gonna bring that up. I don't really fuck with Seinfeld. I never liked Seinfeld, but yo, my my opinion gets fucking bad. Everyone's like, "Oh my god, Seinfeld's so great, it's amazing." Ah, oh, bash you, nigga. It's not the comedy I like. I don't like Seinfeld. How do you niggas feel about Seinfeld? Have you ever watched Seinfeld? And you're in the wrong comedy. Yeah, you, like he's supposed to be like a comedic genius. Seinfeld made almost eight hundred million dollars off that show. That's right. Seinfeld was really good. It was just Kramer what ruined it for me when he did that outburst. What he called? He said nigger. He didn't just say nigger. He said a lot, but that ruined it for me. But Frasier, I couldn't watch. Friends, I couldn't watch. Those are just ripoffs of black sitcoms. Yeah, those I are just, terrible. They use all know. the black sitcoms to build up the networks, and then as soon as the that was what building, single, I never really liked like Friends. That was what Seinfeld, living single. Seinfeld was right funny though. Not a lie. Huh? Anybody that was tell a living me you watch Frasier? You're just right? mature. Yeah. You're yeah, not even funny if you're watching terrible. Frasier. They, they didn't even have punchlines. No, no, shit. you're just mature if you watch Frasier. Even, even the Friends people that watch like, Frasier, like, they can't even vouch for it. Like, the people in Frasier, like, yo, this show's not funny. You know what black sitcoms that you're saying these shows are ripped off from? In Living Color. And uh, living single, living single. Okay, okay. No, yeah, just for that. the audience. That was the that was the, the people that I would like to know. Because they released it. Because the writers went to f- um, living single and they just switched the characters. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's, I couldn't tell you one thing that happened in Fraser. Um, I don't even know what it's about. Just a nigga named Fraser. No, nah, they relaunched Fraser right here on he's Paramount. He's fending. I can know he's fending. He's Frasier. not fending. He's, he's letting Frasier me know that they, relaun- they relaunched Fraser basically. Okay. And see how much I'd, I'd be on the internet, and I still don't know that. Well, like, yo, did you ever watch Mad TV? Of course. Fuck Mad TV. That was when comedy was allowed to be funny. Yeah. It was allowed to be comedy. That Chappelle. nigga was hella racist. So, Mad show. TV or Dave Chappelle? Chappelle Show. Chappelle Show or In Living Color? Those are two different things. Yeah, way two different things. I know, but they're still in the realm of, like, you know, improv sketch. They're kind of sketch comedy, though. That's what I was thinking. That's the, exactly the, what I'm getting at. Mm. What it? Yes. No, because In Living Color was live. Still live sketches. No, it was live show. That's like SNL. Okay. What do you think about SNL? SNL is still a sketch. What do you you think about SNL? In case they hire me one day, I think it's amazing. (laughs) 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 No, but uh, In Living Color You still have a live sketch show. In Living Color was was the the show. That was the show. Like so it was, everything that followed that was ripped off of so In Living Color. Color supersedes. Look at Jay, look at Dave all Chappelle. Oh, look at all the people that came from In Living Color. Um, we're not doing that. I'm asking you. In Living Color supersedes Jay, Jay Chappelle. It, Dave Chappelle is sketch comedy. That's live, sketch live comedy. sketches. It's different. It's different. It's still live, sketch comedy. Nah, it's slightly it's different. different because you have to perform. There's no takes. Yeah, no, for no sure. That's, it's that's completely the, different. I think that's the, where he's different. I'm just throwing it as a show to show. Like <clears> you were to place one show above another show, where are you going? But you're the same guy that told me Boondocks not a sitcom. All of a sudden, they're all everything's Those the same. Those are cartoons. Now? If you want to throw a cartoon, we can okay, have a cartoon so discussion. We're trying to say they two different things. Yeah, situational comedies involved, like kind of like. I that. compare. Oh, I only compare SNL and 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 In Living Color, and In Living, in Living Color washes SNL. Chappelle Show is Chappelle Show. I don't think anything comes close to Chappelle Show. You can Even look at like Key and Peele. And Peele. And I was gonna say yeah. Yeah, that they tried it. They tried it, but there's nothing like the Chappelle closest show. thing to Chappelle Show would be fucking like Instagram comedians. 
like them making this. No, Key and Peele. Key and Peele. Key and Peele. Key and Peele. That's a complete Have you seen Key and Peele? That's just funny too. It's a complete. Well, I guess yeah. No, it had its moments. It's the exact same. It never pushed any boundaries. It was just entertaining. No, they were safer. They were more safeguarded in terms of like the they subject were safe. matter. There was nothing where they crossed a line. And then they also did they 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 played more for like like one of their funniest skits inclusive is audiences. Like, they didn't want to say call their wife the the word bitch. That was one of their funniest skits. I'm like that didn't push any boundaries. No, no, no. no. Chappelle had you're a being safe. had a black a black, black white, white supremacist, supremacist on the first episode of the show. <laughs> Clayton Bigsby. Yo, yes, that shit first. was hilarious. Was I remember crazy. he. He came back from the commercial. Clayton, you're and right. He said, here. I can't believe we're not canceled. But let's go to the next one. That was exactly what he said. Like, he couldn't believe it. We're look no further, buddy. <laughs> why did you leave, why did face, you divorce brother. your wife after 40 years? You want? Because she was a nigger lover. <laughs> you wanna see my face? <laughs> Show you us your face, face, brother. <laughs> the man, oh, dude, the man's head blue. explodes, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that shit was like white power. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nothing was nah, <laughs> and to see everything that came with that, man. That, yeah, that shit felt so crazy. No, that shit's crazy. That shit's pretty funny. Shall we move on? Mm-hmm. Let's oh, go. Boy. Yo. That sounds like rhetorical, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> He's very good at his rhetorical questions. Bitch, are you done? Is it realistic to be equals, perfectly equals with your partner? No. How do you feel about this? He says no. We have one no. No. We have one no. Two yeah, no. I know it's a no. That's three no. That's four no's across the board. Why not? Because, yo, we live in a generation where everyone's fighting for equality. Motion and, and that's why this generation is going to heck. Going the wrong way. Tell it's, them how you feel. It's, it's too much happening at once. People, There's roles. People got to know themselves. Everybody what are the roles? Room. It depends on that specific relationship. But a woman shouldn't be building a house, in my opinion. A lot of men don't build houses right now. They barely buy them. Uh, but of the people that who, do who build be building houses, houses? Who be out, when you go outside men. and you look at the condos, who building the condos? Mexicans. And a Mexican what? <laughs> Mex- <laughs> Mexican what though? <laughs> Migrant worker. Migrant worker what though? <laughs> Migrant worker. A man though, no? A man trying to feed his family. Like if I if, if dude came out here and said, yo, a woman built this room, you would automatically feel uncomfortable. I'm not even trying to be sexist. That's crazy. That's I'm not crazy. even trying to be sexist. We'd be like, yo, are you sure? She, like, is everything right? <laughs> I'm going to start checking the floorboards and shit. You know what I mean? Look, look. Now it's a little hollow, right? You hear that, right? So you never know. Like, like women be trying to change tires and stuff because the men don't know. Men don't know how, how to change feel, tires nowadays. How you feel about female mechanics? If they're raised into it, cool. So if you- Like, there's some female mechanics that their dad's a mechanic, their brother's a mechanic, their uncle's a mechanic. That's, that's fire. They know what they're doing. Word. How you feel about female barbers? That's always been iffy to me. That's been a no. One. Yeah, that's a no. The barbershop for men. I don't like when women being there listening to our drama. This is my safe space. Go somewhere else with that. Fair. Respectfully. Fair. So who puts in more work? If you're saying it's uneven or unbalanced, who bears the larger amount of the weight or the brunt in a relationship? The men or the woman? The provider. Men. And that's typically the men, yeah. Okay. So a relationship works in favor but of But now, women. I will say now, there's a lot of men that want to be provided for, that want to be taken care of. And men no longer want to be bad men. They want to be baddies. <laughs> Facts. A, lot of, a lot of men want to be baddies. <laughs> <laughs> a lot Kick of Kick up. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about this equality in relationships? I don't like, in what, hold on, what way? Because you asked me if it's equal. I said no. You said no. So, I said, do you, so basically. Like, you want me to elaborate? Like, well, why if you do agree I, with the same I, premise this nigga said, then you can, you can agree. Yeah, with I, I, I think that, like, no relationship is is equal. Whether it be, like, a friendship or business relationship, there's, like, everybody do got a role to play. You right. know what I mean? And sometimes, like, your girl might be willing to do more things in certain areas than you. Like, she'll clean up the crib more. But then she might expect you to pay for some more shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you're not equally touted in every aspect. But as long as both of you are satisfied with what you're getting from the other party, then that's a functional relationship. Yeah. There's exactly. no reason for you to disrupt something that's working because you feel like it needs to be more equal. All right. Yeah, like if a woman is out there paying all the bills, you better be scrubbing that crib clean, fam. Like she she better not come home to you and your dirty drawers playing PlayStation all day. When she's crazy. paying all the bills, that's crazy. So vice right. versa, it's gotta be a contribution. I'm saying, like, if because there's some relationships has. where like the woman is the provider, right? right? I get that, but the man can't be doing nothing. Like he has to take on the role of the domesticated. So I was gonna say, so in that situation, where a woman's the provider, she financially earns more than the men. Is the man emasculated in said position? 
Do you lose masculinity or power in your relationship? If you allow it. Under that duress. If and you what, allow so it. what do you mean if you allow it? Your woman makes more than you. Yeah. Your woman's a lawyer. She makes more than you. Mm-hmm. Are you now inferior? Like, are you now in a lower tier in a relationship? Is the power structure of the, like, you know, dynamic between you two, is that, has that shifted? No. If you're still a man and you're still holding down what you're holding down, no, nobody can tell you nothing. Okay. Money can't change you. Okay. In the first aspect. Yeah. You gotta be comfortable in your own skin. Yeah, but some some niggas are not. Some niggas bow down. Oh my so, girl, like, right. no, but like, so I, I asked you that because I wanna double down even when you said, like, yo, she's providing or she's bringing home the, like, the, let's call it the majority of the, you know, the household money. You better be cooking. You better be cleaning. You better be domesticated doing all the domesticated shit. Now, typically, domesticated work is associated with more feminine, like, you know, feminine role. Would that mm. not cause a shift in the power dynamic? No. No, not at all. Okay. Because you each bringing something to the table. But the minute you stop doing you that. You clean the table, she brings food to the table? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. But, <laughs> but if you don't even clean the table, then that's on a ride. And it's also, if you think if you undertones. think that that's, if you think that doing that role is makes you somebody less, then like, that's the problem. For the record, that's you know? not for me. I could never live that lifestyle. But there's people out there that do, and there's nothing wrong with that. I if think it works ma- for them. Yeah, I, I think the majority of men would not like that, and I think the majority of women would not like to provide for their men. I think those roles are unnatural based on what mm. most people would like. It can happen. It can work. But it's it, you're challenging yourself, both of you. Okay. I, w- I and would a, say. And that woman has such a huge responsibility, the one that's paying all the bills, because she's got to understand that if my niggas come over, I'm that guy. <laughs> like, put the robe on. No, Pretend like you was wiping dishes. <laughs> well, the hour and a half my niggas is at the crib, I run this. Big me up. Yeah, blood my my this. <laughs> Go get me a drink. Go get me a beverage. Respectfully. And when they leave, <laughs> I'm going to wash that glass. But this how, this how, this dishwasher, how gets, baby. This dishwasher. how it gets messy, fam. What if, what if you and her just kicked off about 45 minutes before the madam get, got there? The madam are coming in. You think she still wants the role play? We're going to the madam's house. Yeah, see, yeah, now I'm you leaving. have to relocate yeah, because, be, yo. Yeah, because you can't be kicking off with somebody. You can't be kicking off with somebody if you don't have no money. Yo, it's absolutely true. I'm not going to lie to you. This idea of equality is not okay. necessarily So, yo, let natural. me also put this in perspective. It's 2024. Is women cooking is still still a realistic or common expectation? Because, yo, I'm not going to lie. I swear this generation is off of, like, Uber and, like, the a lot, of, a lot of this generation don't cook they're letting recipes die yeah so like i'm saying a lot of these women don't go to their mom or their grandma and be like yo navigating because like when navigating the social dating space is cooking still an expectation yeah in 2024 yes you feel so i would hope so yes we can all hope but hope but you're but you're asking the madam right i'm asking the madam so you're asking his opinion everyone's a bit you're right i'm asking you guys because i can cook I, i can cook for myself okay and i can cook for people what you but cook? if, if what you huh? cook, what you cook, bro? Anything, anything. I don't like that answer. What do you specialize in? What are you good at? I'm good at anything, bro. Italian, see, see, food, that, no, French, no, no, French food, no, 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 no. Jamaican. Name me a Caribbean. cuisine. You are confident. You I just can named name three, it. didn't I? No, you name named a dish. A girl's coming no, over. What you make? No, 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 no. Girls coming over. What you make? Types here, of cuisine are not cuisine. A cuisine is an actual dish. That's that's no, it is not. Cuisine and dish the same thing. I think they might be different. They're synonymous. No, that's a that's a that's a plate like a meal. That's one wow. dish. Just make it easy. A gal's coming Name over. Name a dish. Name a dish, fam. A gal's coming over. What are you making for her? That that you know it's a winner. Your top tier that's fucking a winner. winner. That's a winner. Like fam, you that's need the winner. jaws. Yeah. Madam, are making it complicated. What are you making for shorty? Big up the tape, fam. <laughs> because over here, uncomplicating things. Yo, I make a mean jerk lamb chop. Sounds good. Not even gonna hold you. Never yeah. in my life have I even experienced a jerk lamb chop. Yeah, I haven't either. I make a mean <laughs> on a, yo, on a bed of mashed potatoes. <laughs> put like two, three on that. Bam, little chives on that. Yo, mud thing. I'm actually I do this. So if <laughs> I can, if I'm I can a, do a it, nigga that says he makes jerk lamb chops. He if does. I can this, handle it, do this. If I can handle it in the kitchen, I I expect you to at, at least as well. You expect her to make a jerk so lamb chop too? If if she can't be as nice, you gotta. At least learn. Like, call your mom, like your grandma. Like, they know everything. Your girl says she can cook, hypothetically. See? Mm-hmm. She gets in the kitchen. She wants to make you a sick meal. And mm-hmm. on paper, pen and paper, from what you've seen from her, her posts, her her previous works, oh, babes, look what I did. Fine. She wants to cook a meal for you in your house. You know that she doesn't wash her meat. How do you feel about this? So I'm dating white girls now? <laughs> <laughs> So that's how we feel about this. I guess she is of the uh, caucasity variety. That better be a short. That's from the, a fire she's from the caucus <laughs> mount. She's from the caucus mountains. I can't. 
She shot a killer nigga. What if she's washing the meat in the sink? I got it, I got it, I got it. Bare sink. She bare back in the sink. Fuck it. She light skin. Bare back in the bare back in the sink. Bare back in the sink. Bare back in the sink. With a white mother and her dad left. So she has straight hair. No, I didn't say that. She's light skin. She's curly hair. With her white mom. With her white mother. And her dad left. Yeah. So she has straight hair. She does not have straight she hair. She doesn't know who she, she doesn't know who she is yet. She wants to cook for you. They yeah. smoke bogeys in the crib. Yo, what? That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> How did we get there? <laughs> that guy so she's coming over with craft dinner, is what you're telling me. No, I didn't say that. That's what you're implying. She wants to make you a gourmet meal. Okay, so like a tuna casserole. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yeah, she wants to make you a gourmet meal, but you yeah, notice yeah. she doesn't wash her meat before handling it. She just puts meat from package to pan. That's crazy, babe. I would stop her before that even happened. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that couldn't even go on. What if you see your girl seasoning the meat without cleaning it first? That's the same thing. Are you going to let her finish it? And nah. she tells you the heat kills the bacteria. Nah, that's the same thing as not washing it. That's crazy. That's not, it, it, is, it is, in fact, the same thing as <laughs> not washing it. That is the exact same thing. That's on a ride. She's seasoning it, but she's not washing it. That How is, do we feel about that? That is disgusting. She's just covering up bacteria. Would you? We're in a realistic sense. Your woman said, yo, bibs, boom. Dealing with you. Are you going to stop her in the kitchen, and, or are you going to let wait to see what she does? Oh, no, I'll stop right away. If she's doing something wrong, I'll stop right away. That's how you're supposed to do it. You got to help them grow. Mm. You got to let it. Because if you allow that one time, she'll never stop doing that. Mm. And you're not going to eat her food. I'm not going to be condescending and be like, yo, that's nasty, bitch. I'll be like, yo, hey. Okay. Hey, do you, do you need the vinegar? You want me to, do you, do you, the lemon juice in the so, fridge, yo, do you want me to get that? You tell her to clean the meat. <laughs> she puts <laughs> it in the sink and puts dish soap on it. So it's scrubbing it. Now you're playing with me. Yeah, now you're messing with me, bro. <laughs> like, now you're just yeah. fucking. Chicken with squeaky people. clean. Yeah, honestly, at that point, <laughs> at that point, I'm going to let her do her thing, but I'm ordering Uber Eats on the side, <laughs> but I'm ordering it f- like for pickup. Oh, you're dipping. And I'm leaving. Where? I might never talk to this girl again. You're not yeah. raising it tonight? You're not, you're not getting it. Nah, 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 nah. A girl woman, don't clean her, her your chicken woman don't you. clean her. Your woman rates you. She doesn't <laughs> clean her chicken you know properly. What I'm she thinks the heat kills the bacteria. That's not my woman. All right. Yeah, no. Your right. woman rates you. Fab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just stop, bro. Yo, yeah. clearly she does not rate me. She doesn't rate She me. doesn't rate. Yeah, she doesn't okay. rate me, There's bro. There's no ratings. I was just wondering where the man. The man also also thinking, fit, man. What do you no, no, think? No. What am I supposed to think? I don't know. Like, bro, some man might say, yo, let her cook. And I'm going to allow that. Man, there's a pre- I guarantee you there's a population of men that would still let her cook for them. Try it. And then maybe because well, that man they're really just trying to slide in guts. Okay. Yeah, and those men probably can't even cook themselves, so they probably don't know the difference. Okay, that's true. That's crazy. So, yo, yeah. question: yeah. How do the man feel about the term foodie? Like, if a shorty or anybody you know kind of proclaims, like, "I'm a foodie," like, how do you guys feel about that Who's terminology? Who's been, who's been paying much, this so. food bill? You, you might be a little bit on the thicker bills, side. All these restaurant bills. <laughs> So, yo, <laughs> How many dates have you been on for you to determine you're a foodie? You just, you're a fatty. Huh? You're over here fat nah, shaming. Nah, skinny, what you, you're a skinny foodie. No, right? that's what you just... <laughs> yeah, you like, said I never no, said she's a fatty. She just foodie. might be on the little thicker side. That's all nah, I'm saying. Nah, like, so, them skinny women can eat. I know, but like... Eat. I know, but like... When you say foodie, it doesn't hit the same if you're not like... I don't... All right, you're a foodie, but like I don't see where the food goes. But when you see the girls who... You see where the food goes, it's like, oh, I, I Nah, agree. because a big, certain big girl, they're not even food, they just eat. They're they just don't even, big. Some, Sometimes some of them they just be practice eating. being yeah, big. Yeah, they got like... What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> hmm? What do you think? <laughs> Yo, they practice being big. Yeah, they don't, don't work on being slim. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so not, sure. They didn't put no slim work in, fam. It's yeah, just big bro. work. That's crazy. No, I don't know. Big up yourselves, big empress, that mean I love, I love big women. I, I, he loves big women. I mean, no. Yeah. If you go, if you I love big women that like understand that they're big. I don't like big women that think they're small. That wait. That move like small things. Like, like they're they not dress, a small thing. So you don't like big women that dress sizes too small. No, I don't care what they wear, but like okay. act act your size. You How do you act me? your size? Like what does that mean? Show, tell me like how someone acts not their size. <laughs> Just show like, less confidence. A big, like like hold on, like a big <laughs> okay. thing should never sit in between the two of you guys right there. <laughs> 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 Saying this is her no, whole space right whole here. Couch. Her Wait whole till the man gets up and take the solo yeah. seat. Yo, that's, <laughs> that's what I mean. Yo, big <laughs> shorty etiquette. Don't what? Don't yes, ex up your big that's, self that's in the spaces yeah, you don't belong in. And nice. like, excuse that's me, <laughs> <laughs> you're not even excused. You're not slim enough. The man's legs excused. are like this now. Yeah, because I'll get up. I'll, I'll get. Up. I'm not even trying to be. I'm not even trying to be sweating beside people. I'll just get Yo. up. <laughs> You're so big, you make other yeah. people sweat. <laughs> yeah, I have to just get up, and that's not, you know. Yo, I do love big I'm that's go crazy. Home. Yeah, the internet's gonna get mad, but yo, the fatty sweats is crazy. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. I don't like if you sweat while eating. 
Okay. <laughs> Nigga. Sweating while eating? No, it's, it's a thing. Is it spicy food, though? Fam, no. no. Just oh, just sweat. KFC, oh, nigga. Okay, okay. It's just, you know, it's just, this is a lot sometimes. Yeah. No, <laughs> yo, no, yo, no. That, that, why is that a lot? That's yeah. too much. Bro. Okay, question. Moving forward. People who fold pizza are wild. You're like, fat. They You're ball fat. up pizza? Come on. Like, just eat one bite at a time. Balling up pizza is crazy. One bite I, at a time. I like where you went with that. God. Crazy. Balling up pizza. One bite at a time. Still. My God. Anyhow, we're moving on to word farm. I'm going to say a name, word, place, person, thing. Say the first word that comes to your mind. Don't give it too much thought. Five second time limit. Okay. You got me? Maybe. Order is this, this, this. Mm. You like get the me? whole order has been all night? Okay. Yeah, but sometimes the order glitches. Twice. Uh, are we ready? Mm -hmm. oh. Brad Pitt. What? Brad Pitt. Angelina. Fight Club. Mr. Smith. Dave Chappelle. Chris Rock. Funny as hell. Clayton Bigsby. Shaggy. <laughs> Didn't do it. <laughs> it wasn't me. Caught me on camera. <laughs> Meek Mill. Rick Ross. Dreams and Nightmares. Freak Mill. That's <laughs> crazy. Vegeta. Goku. Whooping ass. Real nigga. Elon Musk. Wealthy. That guy's kind of weird. How so? Hi. Monique. <laughs> Funny. Big. <laughs> <laughs> Brutally honest. Amy Schumer. Disgusting. <laughs> Holy fuck. Not as funny as she thinks. Don't got much to say. Andrew Schultz. You're cool. He's funny. Is that right? Piccolo. Nigga. <laughs> Yo, I was going to say that was a nigga. <laughs> He's been a nigga, though. Niggas know Piccolo's been a like, nigga. Like, yo, I know that guy. He took care of kids that wasn't his. He his is voice black is black. black. He is as black as His whole gets. essence, bro. His voice is he black. He gave him a bald head, too. I mean, converted to Islam and wear his whole thing the whole time. And not doing <laughs> He's a real one. <laughs> no, I said that was a nigga. Real nigga, Piccolo. But we all just said real nigga. All right, yeah. bro, sure. it's the yeah, essence. Bro. Right. Everybody knows he was black. They made him yeah, green, but like, come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super certified. Super certified. Russell Beaters. Brampton. He's pretty funny. Bro. Giant Depp. Uh, I don't know. Chocolate Factory. Pirate. <laughs> Shit in the bed. R. Kelly. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dirt bag. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> Crazy. Jack Meat Sing. Whatless. Turban. Wild. <laughs> 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 you only gave us five seconds, bro. Look at the fuck. That yeah. man couldn't even win Brampton. I was just Sorry. I was just gonna say Brampton. He couldn't win a seat. He didn't win a seat in Brampton, so it shows how much his people love him. Go ahead. Justin Trudeau. Might be worse than Jack Meat. <laughs> Feminine <laughs> Fraud Lastly, Rob Ford Bodmon mm. Rest in peace Yeah, 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 fuck He was a guy Real one Rest man, in peace, Rob man Ford Man of the people Man of the people But that was word fire You know what I'm saying? It was quick, friendly, painless What I do want to ask you though, moving forward Something painful, not friendly <laughs> No, 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 no This is going to be happy and wholesome and shit Oh, okay yeah, we're, wrap, we're wrapping up soon, but I'm going to ask you guys quickly. Okay. You find a book and it's beginning... Oh wait. You find a book and you begin to read, only to discover that it's telling your life. You get to the point where you're at now. Do you turn the page to figure out what will come next, even though you can't turn the events, or do you just stop reading? So I'm reading a book that's based off my life? So you're reading a book. You discover, upon reading the book, this is a fucking... This is my life. Mm -hmm. Now, you get to the point in your life where you're at currently. Are you turning the next page to read what happens next, even if you cannot change the outcome? No, I'm not reading it. You're not reading the book. If I know this is my life in this book, I'm not reading it. You're not reading it. What about you? Are you reading it to see what comes next? No, I read Life it. meant to be lived. Seeing what comes next? Let's take this chance. Because it's flipping the page. I'm there not reading. Are blank it. pages after that. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, the man get crumpled. <laughs> right? At this point in your life, what makes you happy? When my mom's happy. Everybody else happy. Happy Wait, family. Happy family. That is that. Would you say that's your motivating essence, or your motivating force in life? Right now, yeah. All right, I respect that. I respect that. What makes you happy? Shit. I don't know. Just being being busy, being productive. 
productivity. What makes you happy over there? Being able to provide. Being able to provide. Your Being kids? Able. No, but I got a family. Like, I, you know, it's... Fair, real one. Absolutely, absolutely. Me personally, yeah, same ordeal. Being able to provide, being thankful I got life and all this. But I want to ask you, though. So everybody else's answer. This nigga couldn't give him one out. You've been playing that game this whole night. You noticed that, right? <laughs> yeah, the whole night you've been doing that. And then every time we try to talk... <laughs> <laughs> so nigga plays dodgeball all the time. Fam. It's crazy, it's crazy. What advice would you give to someone See, who follows good. you, looks up to you, or you inspire that wants to travel down the trajectory of life that you went down? Go find God. Don't look up to me. I well damn nigga nigga just likes what you're doing says yo oh, I want to like, do that if he likes what I'm doing I'm like, <laughs> like yo he likes what you're I mean, man say, yo, up to me I want to be a stand up like, comedian go, go find, find God. God nigga <laughs> <laughs> nah like okay if he if he looks to what I'm doing somebody's inspired by you wants to take the trajectory in life that you went uh, God included mm-hmm. what advice do you have to somebody mm. speak once listen twice. Measure yeah. twice, cut once. I like that. Yeah, do that. That's good. That's good. Anything else you would like to ask our guests or give to the man? Of- Shit, I guess. Um, just let the people them know uh, what you got coming up for twenty twenty four. You got any big plans? Anything that we could look forward to? Yeah, I'm waxing everybody's gal. So hide your wife. As soon as so- no, no, I don't deal with wives. Hide your gal. Girlfriends are getting waxed. <laughs> wives are off limits. A nigga can go and crash out about his wife, and I would understand it. But I'm just playing. Uh, no, I got a little mini tour. I put a little run of shows together. So called the More Than a Meme tour. More it's than a meme. I like that. I like meme. that. Yeah, we got the first show end of the month. When does this drop? This probably gonna be out what like about a week. About oh, a week. fresh. About okay. Nine weeks. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the first show is end of the month in Toronto on Saturday the 30th in Toronto at the Dawn on Danforth. And then uh, second show's Waterloo, April 3rd. And then we go to Hamilton, April 13th, April 12th. And then we go to uh, Montreal, May May 11th, I want to say. And then May 17th, we're in Winnipeg. And we add in more dates. We're, we're working on Edmonton. We're working on Ottawa. And we're hopefully working on London and Windsor. Nice. Is this a solo tour or are you doing it with like you have a whole collective? Of, uh, like, is there a collective of you guys or is it like a. It's a, a solo, solo tour, feature? but I'm bringing a couple of my guys with me. Wicked, wicked, yeah, wicked. Yeah, Kuja is going to join me on a couple of the, the, the dates. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Cause anything so, you want to get off your chest? No, other than like, you know, thank you for passing through. Real yeah. nigga. That's boom, how we boom, rock. Boom. And yo, tell the people them where they can find you at and how they can get in tapped in with your tour. Respect for that one, man behind the wall. Uh. You can find me on uh, Instagram, social media. I'm at, at Mr. Lewin with two N's, M R L E W I N N. Even though my name only has one N, some dude has it on Instagram. I'm going to get famous and buy it off that nigga. <laughs> but uh, I got a Linktree account with all my tickets info. You want to get tickets to the shows? Like Linktree dot, Linktree slash Mr. Lewin. Uh, yeah, Twitter's the same thing. Uh, basically, all my handles is the same thing. Mr. Lewin with two N's. Uh, yeah. Come, come catch a show, man. you never seen a show. Come see a show. I'm funnier in person. I'm, I'm that guy. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm that guy. Your girlfriend's favorite memer. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Don't. <sighs> how'd you, how'd you go? How'd you go? He doesn't come for your wife, so how'd you go? Mm-hmm. He's in it. Anyhow. If I, if I don't know you, if I don't know you, how'd you go? If I know you, you girl, cool. She's like a wife at that point. You, she cool. She off <laughs> She cool. She cool. Mm-hmm. Well, it's been a pleasure. But if I don't know you, I'm just like, <laughs> 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 so if I don't know you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if we high and by, like, if you just see me on road and you walk by me, that's... Your wife, your, your girl, girl could get it. Yeah, yeah, she can get it. And her sister. Tell her the DM. Sure, the family tree. Oh, it's a man of the no, people. She's probably already in the DM. I'm going to reply to it. Man of the people. Man of the people. I am a man of the people. Yo, don't let your girl get her a DM replied to by this guy. I'm telling you, it'll upset you. It'll be a cold day in Toronto. Even and don't if end up a meme. Don't end up a no. meme. Oh, no. Goodness gracious. Oh, I love when women say that. Oh, don't make me a meme. I'm like, you are not that not funny. even meme worthy, bitch. Yeah, I would not make you a meme. No, no, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I'd give you the rude buckets, but I wouldn't make you a meme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm playing. You get the ween, not a meme. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, on behalf man. of the uncle, wow. the same man that said Chong Ja. <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of the common sense man, though, we'd like to thank you for coming by. This is the vibe. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. You let them know where they can find you at. It's your boy X R I P M X on everything social. Castro Nero eighty eight on Instagram. 
Money Mitch, 54X Mitch on Instagram. Fuck it. Tell him again. Where to find you? At Mr. Lewin. Check it out. Instagram. M-R-L-E-W-I-N-N. If you don't know who it is, it's the person your girl's been sending all the memes to. All the memes from. Like you know, you're being check your DM and just bear memes from your girl. Like I'm like, and she's like, ha ha, so funny, you know? That's my account. That's me. <laughs> that's this face, nigga. Yeah, when you see me on the road, that's me, nigga. <laughs> now you can put a face to the memes. Yeah, yeah. Side angle for you, nigga. <laughs> oh, get, get, get to them. Get to them. Don't play with me. Uh-huh. And I'm about that in real life too. So don't try to address me in per- public about no 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 joke that you saw you didn't like, nigga. <laughs> Deal with it on your own insecurities, nigga. Sorry, I went weird. No, 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 fam, yo, let them know. Let them know. How you mean? You gotta have the aggressive outro sometimes. Come on, sometimes yeah. you gotta let the people know. Bat up on the way mm. out. Bat up on the way in. Yeah, don't, 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 don't. Don't play with me. Don't play with this guy. I'm jokes and jokes and jokes. All I got is jokes. Nigga, until I go outside your head. Jokes I'm and then playing. pokes for your girl, apparently. We are on Common Sense. Peace. Peace.